We're starting now, y'all. Most of you already know how I do this, right? I go through a character's move list top to bottom, pretty much. I generally don't start with the rage stuff, but you know, top to bottom. And uh, in some pretty good depth, in pretty good detail, I go through uh, everything I can think of about a move, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean I'm gonna find everything, that doesn't mean I'm gonna know everything, especially for a character like this, who is not popular, despite what people make you think. She's not played a lot. She might be right now. She, uh, she probably won't be in the long run. Right? So anyway, now that I got that out of the way, first thing that we all know by now since it's been a few days is this backdash is very broken right now. And they need to fix it. Um, a lot of highs to straight up go through her head during this backdash. And it's kind of like got a little bit of that fuck around thing going on when Lowe's went through his legs early on. She has that going on with her head and upper body for some reason during his back dash. Um, I don't know about measurement wise, but I suspect that the cancel to get the, the, the time to get the most distance possible for the cancel is a lot shorter here because it feels it. If you back dash with like just about any other character and then came to this chick, you'll feel it right away. But this back dash is really fucked up right now. I don't know how good her sidestepping is. Well, I suppose it's one thing we could test. I should have started with this, but whatever. Here we are. Leo. Leo has a pretty average uh, sidestep too, right? I should just leave the dummy on Leo. Test tracking. I think Leo has a pretty average sidestep. Oh, what the hell? What am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> I mashed it out, I guess. Let me go to Leo here. This is always one of the things I like to test on a sidestep. It doesn't indicate an amazing sidestep by itself, but uh, it does give you a good starting point, at least on her sidestep right. Unless they missed this, uh, they messed with this in season four, which I don't know if they did. Did they mess with this in season four? What's up, Jaws? They did not. Okay, so she can't do the thing. Well, she can do, wait, was it always left? I thought it was right. I'm sorry, I think, I think, I'm thinking right because Marduk uh, down back one plus two goes right. All right, so she could do the thing. It was always left, all right. It's only like certain moves that auto sidestep right that get around this. But for the regular sidestep, it's left. Okay, so she could go left versus that. Cool. I guess there's one more big test I could do. That's to test her sidestep left. This will really test her sidestep left. I think she's broken right now. Her, she has high damage and her movement is busted right now. So when I, you gotta remember when I say broken, I don't, unless I'm being tongue in cheek, I don't use broken to me overpowered. That's like, that's where we're at right now with those term broken, which is silly, but whatever. I mean, she's like actually broken. They gotta fix her. Okay. Well, there you have it. This is a very good sidestep left. Of course, it tracks with his, you know, not gonna work that way, obviously. I think the only other character in the game right now that could do that is Lily, I think. Without using, you know, some sort of funky movement cancel or moving into a sidestep, just regular ass sidestep. I think Lily, Lily and uh, maybe Kazumi are like the only other characters in the game that could do that, for that move right now. All right. Well, since we verified that her step to her left is at least very good, I guess I'll double up on her to really test that tracking, right? Yeah, her back dash is busted. It's busted. It's not supposed to be the way it is. I I'm sure of it. You better not let me down. All right, so now that we got the movement stuff out of the way. Right? It's been a while since I get these controls, right? Okay. So. Starting from the top. She has a very stupid looking jab animation where it looks like she's going for an eye gouge. 
um, open fingers, so she's breaking her fingers. It's like they ain't even bother animating her closed fist or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but whatever. I gouge, yeah. Um, jab range looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. We're not gonna hold forward. Okay, now we're gonna hold forward. Okay, never mind. But well, it is her backdash, remember that. <laughs> that doesn't mean it doesn't have good range. Alright. 1-1, one, one, natural high mid. No delay. Only minus 5. That's a shocker. I thought this would be like minus 7 or 8. And you got 1-1-1, one, 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 which is only minus 11. Right? Obviously, it's not a natural. Not that either. Second hit. Counter hit on second hit. No counter hit properties on the last hits. So second hit counter makes third hit combo. Twelve, okay. She doesn't have 11 frame, doesn't she? Well, all right. She lost to 12 frame. 10 frame beat it clean. 11 frame exchanges. That's how this works. Right? 10 frame loses. 12 frame loses clean. So 11 frames is going to exchange here. So you could actually challenge 1-1 one, one with a jab here. I fucking backdash, man. You better watch your stubby button after blocking that. The Kuni Mitsu players I run into, I've been running into, they just kind of like go in on her strings. They commit to every string, which is good because it's been giving me practice to punish them. But here, you know, I try to find shit like this to give you some more ideas on how to expand on these strings. Because what ends up happening is if you establish a backdash after this, they're less likely to jab after like, you know, you're 1-1, one, one, you know? Minus five. Shouldn't be able to step jabs, just testing. So she can get around uh, her own DF1. Her own DF1 might just be linear. It probably is very linear. But if there's a DF1 that you know you could sidestep to one side, test it. Test the situation and sidestep towards that side. Because the thing is, even though you're minus five and you can't step most jabs, you could step a lot of other small, like, you know, the small game pokes <laughs> up close. You could step a lot and this is worth doing. Yeah, 1-1 one, one has a, quite a gap. Can't armor it though. What's her fucking parry? Well, whatever her parry input is, you can parry the second hit a one one. All right. Oh. Okay, good. Obviously, you can armor through this. If you can jab, you can armor. All right, interesting. Next. Oh. Yeah, no, her parry sucks. I'll get, I'll get to it when I get to it. But her parry is kind of whatever. All right, this is one, one, two. This is the one that I keep thinking is unsafe. And I swing at it and it's minus nine. I gotta remember it's the other one. So we already know about one one. It's silly cause this beats jab and it's safe. But what's the purpose of the other one? Probably like a wall combo, right? And that. She could step it right. 
So if you want to practice some anti Kuni, test if you could step this right and then step guard. <laughs> you could also armor the last hit. Silly as fuck, man. Weird choice for this string. Pressing the wrong thing. The thing I'm noticing is like she has a lot of really good strings, but she has like no lows. It's like Claudio 2.0 right now, but with better movement. <clears throat> this is plus, I know this. So we already know the properties of 1-1. One, one. So it's weird that the safe on block mid beats out your jab. The unsafe on block one loses to jab mash after 1-1. One, one. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> that logic, right? You have one. 15 frames, so you have a huge window. Uh, I don't know what's, what's slow for her. 16 frames exchange. Let me make sure. That's a 16 frame exchange situation. You could jab pretty late here and still punish that. What else could we get? Very linear. It looks linear, right? And this is plus five, right? Plus three. And a hard knocks down on counter hit and normal hit. Same knockdown. You probably get to quarter circle forward too, right? That's her like so caliber ass move right there, right? Taki style. So Got that going on, right? Big window to exchange uh, here and beat it out. And uh, so you could sidestep it both ways for most characters. I don't know about all. You Marty players out there probably going to have to go right against that, not left. And it's plus three on Bluku. Katon. Give me time, baby. You can go back to him with it, too. So this is all about the hesitation caused by the third hit of these strings. Which is weird because they're, they're not really unique on counter hit. None of them are. Plus four. Fifteen. That's slow. That's slow. So fifteen is her fastest option out of this? Seems like it. We'll get to Gatton later, but 15 frames as of right now. Obviously. Oh, you gotta hit me. Yeah. Guaranteed 12 frame. <laughs> That's ballsy as fuck, but if you can do it, do it. Ah, well. Fuck it. Okay. Anyway. She's been cooning for the first time in a long mirror set, and then she's got shenanigans off the ass. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I guess she does. Alright. All the way it goes is goes into this stance and then 15 frame counter hit the rat. I'm just gonna look for the stance here. One, two, three. Yeah, no, 15 frames is her fastest threat, so you can kind of jab her out of this even if she hits you. But if you slow it down, you have to match it up. If you slow it down, you risk eating counter hit. She has three transitions out of this. Back 
turn. Okay. This shit is cheap to me. Maybe not. This is not the thing I'm remembering, is it? Yeah, it's not the string I'm remembering. Never mind. I forgot what the string is. Um. Plus seven. Plus two. properties here. Minus 4 ain't too bad. Considering that she has a low profile move out of this. That's not it. It's 3. Yeah. You can definitely crush your jab still. Even at minus 4. That's worse on block than I thought. Doesn't mean anything for Marduk, though. Oh, really? NC? Okay. Definitely not on the last hit, though. Maybe not. Hold on. I forgot I had it on that. gonna guess that the fourth hit no not even only might have send though or not only minus 10 for that huh gimmicky oh haha <laughs> I didn't even know Okay, third to fourth hit jails. If you block the third hit, you're stuck. And that exchanges to a jab, Zad. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mashed it out. Hmm. That's not a bad string. This is one of those that if you duck it so while standing, you gotta be careful. At least that the, there's no counter hit bait. If you miss that, see? There's no counter hit bait really. You can still block the last hit. So. If you duck, I would suggest going for a high crush while standing move if you got it. Or like uh, one of those moves that aren't really true high crushes but might evade the, the high. If not, go for a full crouch thing just to be sure, you know? That's a high. That's a high with a good hitbox. And like 2-2 two, two by itself seems good. Minus 6 and it pushes out. Why does that push out like that? That's silly. How slow. Let's look at this shit. Bullshit. You have to like block this super close, super close to catch her. And he, the DF1 doesn't catch her. It's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do they have no pushback like this, dude? Whatever. Anyway, alright, I saw this by accident earlier. Her, I know her DF4 is 12 frames. That You're missing the point, Maddo. Yeah, it's gonna reach, but. The idea here is most characters don't have a long range 12 fame mid like her and Yoshimitsu, right? You know, or like Feng, right? Most characters don't have a 12 frame long range mid here when they're playing the small game. Most characters are gonna jab or DF1. And as you can see, she's beating out her own. 
So this is gonna be like a matchup by matchup basis. What's up, Romeo? Right? So that's what I'm getting at here. That's what you got. You gotta remember, like, you play Feng, so you got like a long range, uh, 12 frame, a long, uh, not as long as this maybe, but Fish Hook has pretty good range. Deceptively good. And your DF1 might even chase her down. I don't know. So you could chase her down pretty good with Feng. But like your average character, you know, like average size character, or average poke range character, might like Armor King. You think Armor King's DF1 is going to reach her? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her own DF1 is missing. And honestly, that range looks good to me. All right. Well, all right. Fuck theory crafting, right? Let's, let's go with AK. Right. Armor King does have a 12 frame mid though, so uh, let's go with Lee. He's got a 14 frame long range uh, standing three, so that'll probably reach. Ain't no 12 frame though. His DF1 is pretty stubby. But let's just see, like Lee plays the small, the small game probably more than any other character in the game. Lee's like game plan is 100% playing the small game, right? And setting up counter hits with it, right? So, make sure I input it as well. I'm going to dash first. Right? Come on. Come on. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you know anything about Lee, all of these tools missing is very bad for him. So now she has a natural combo high high after this string that she could threaten with. She could backdash bait anything to whiff and launch you off of her 2-2 two -two that's 12 frames. That's crazy. And it's high mid too. It's high mid. High noon. See, these are the little things that I tend to catch that most people, I don't think most people are catching this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They gotta fix her backdash, that's what it comes down to. If her backdash wasn't as stupid as it is, this wouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's double up on Cooney again. You gotta look at you gotta look at when you look at this character's move list with that busted backdash, right? You always gotta look at like, all right, what space is out on block and, and is safe, and it's only like minus five or minus six or minus four, and test this like test that in like all those situations. I bet you, you go, you're gonna backdash most things, even things you you wouldn't expect. Like I didn't expect her to get backdash Lee standing three because I think that's 14 frames, right? And that has like good range. I didn't expect her to get get away from that, and she totally fucking did. So like, if Lee wants to chase that down, he has to like forward, forward three her or like forward. I don't. I should have tested forward too. I didn't. Whatever. But you know, he has to do like crazy shit and risk running into counter hits all day. You know what I'm saying? And he's not the only one. So you just kind of gotta like let her get away with, with you know blocking shit. It's, it's silly, but whatever. Hopefully they fix her backdash and that will be less of an issue. So we were here, right? Obviously, this is uh, the frames will not be favorable here. I'm pretty sure. Right, minus 12, so straight up, you got to get people petrified of that last hit, and that last hit is a counter hit bait launcher. So I think this is slow enough that good players are going to react to this in the long run. I think this is gimmicky. This is slow enough that I wouldn't bank on making this a big part. A primary part of your mix-up but you know if you want to try to like steal one you know pull their pants down when they're not looking type shit you could every once in a while you could do this but i don't think this is going to be real in the long run no. does have generic down three out of that which is probably better than that weird goofy low Those of you that don't know, generic down three, like like I just hit there. 10 frame startup plus three on block instead of like this, which is 12 frame startup minus four on hit. That's it, plus three on block, I meant plus three on hit. Thing has this too. I mean, almost everybody has it. Anybody has a generic low kick from back turn, it's down three for her, but it's still with her right leg. You see, it's plus three on hit. It also pushes out a little. 
All right. Uh, so this is natural homing high, and that first kick has some pretty dang good range. I don't know if it's as good as uh, Yoshi Mitsu's or better. That's some good range. It's natural, and that kind of knockdown is probably gonna make that guaranteed, right? Forward, forward two with a deep dash. And if you delay it, maybe you'll hit him standing. Like, hold forward a little longer, you know? Hold back. Oh, I did a running to back accident. I held it a little longer, so if they hold back, she should take more damage. Yeah, I think that was 100%. I don't know if it was 100% before, right? Uh, I don't know if she has like a launcher thing she could do here to catch you holding back. Like Lee has the blazing kick, you know, and those kinds of knockdowns. And if you hold back, he launches you. Yeah, the back doesn't create space. I'm saying it's, it's nonsense. It's like... It's only possible because her back dash is stupid. Yeah, Miguel has that with Savage down forward two. Either way it goes, forward forward two is guaranteed. I don't know if she has a launching option. Alright. Definitely doesn't jail. Right. Obviously, right? Uh, minus five with a lot of pushback, so... Don't, if you block this, don't fucking swing at her, honestly. Just don't do it. Just reset the neutral here. Um, I don't think she has a mid extension off of this, alright? Let's see. It's homing, homing, homing. I forgot to test the tracking on her uh, one, two, or two. Alright. Okay, second hit catches step. Wow, really? You for real with this shit? Oh my god, that's gross. Alright, they gotta know something. For my own sanity, I gotta know. <sighs> There's gonna be a hitbox Cooney, isn't there? <laughs> What do you mean, like a hitbox sponsored player? Cross dash two. Cross dash two hits grounded. Interesting. Oh, thank God. Okay, so her sidestep right isn't the best. Her sidestep left seems way better than average. Maybe her sidestep right isn't the best. <laughs> Excuse me. And the cool thing here is because you don't block the first hit if you step guard it, the spacing is not as good on her, not as good for her. We do that better. That's interesting. Maybe I'm canceling it late. Inputs are definitely bad. I'm breaking into new control, so. There it is. <laughs> you see my issue with that high crush? It's not a, like, it's a high crush, but it crushes late into the move, and he stands up before, before it's active, and you can hit him with highs. Okay. I was curious. Oh yeah, one more thing to test. Go. 
That's no good. She's gonna clip him. I haven't played on stick in years. I was never a stick main. So, um, my PS4 uh, control that I was using before, the um, port for the USB, the micro USB broke. So this is like a new, a, a new control that I ha I've had like sitting in my drawer here for like years and I haven't used it. So it's still like, I gotta break it in. So everything, all my inputs and shit are stiff as hell. Like I've been playing online Quite a bit actually, but yeah, my inputs are like really bad. More, much worse than usual. Nothing is clean in my inputs. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, you know, her tracking is one of those, like it's gonna randomly track, you know? All right, there's a big gap between these two hits. So the next thing I'm curious about is if you could step the second hit. Although it honestly doesn't really matter, <laughs> but I'm curious. Yeah. So if you don't want to like just duck in her face, you could try to just step guard this. You get what I'm saying? Because like if she just does like, yeah, the gap is way too big. So she can't really do gimmicky shit. It's if you're gonna do that, it's all or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ball frame exchange. There you go. Is this hit confirmable? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Eh, maybe. I'm bad at hit confirming, but the window is pretty generous. You know what this feels like? Kazumi while standing on two. I think you'll be able to tell very often if you catch a button with that first hit and then do the second hit. Like when you press the first kick, you have enough time to verify, oh, they're moving, so maybe I'll risk throwing out the second kick. That's not gonna guarantee a hit confirm, but it's making it'll help make it more likely. Alright. It's not as hard as you made it seem. Never mind. Oh, she could do that out of running very easily. I thought that was a lot more strict than it was. Right, my two piece side is bad, though. Pull back. Yep. Side roll. Yep. Oh, she does the second hit. She hits you side rolling? Ha! <laughs> Damn, if only. <laughs> well, frames. Keep mashing X and I'm gotta be resting. Oh. Fourteen. Hmm. Fourteen frames, dude. Look at that. That's good for your boy Miguel. He'll launch this this situation. Yeah, still 14, no matter which way I go. Interesting. So, if she's forced, when she connects, she's forced to do the second hit. Uh, if you don't want to break in the USB-C port, just on the back place so you can place it real fast without messing around, taking it apart. Interesting. I mean, I'm already committed at this point, so fuck it, but...
Uh, Mado, I played both, but... Romeo, pay attention. Listen, pay attention. You're the one that suggested I try this, right? So, you get hit with this, right? In Oki, she goes for this, you hold back, you're gonna get lost, right? The thing about this was if you stay down and take it, she's forced to do the second hit. And then I could tech and land a 14 frame. See? But I can't land 15. It's not punished. It's hitting her because she's not blocking, obviously. But it's not a punish. You know what I'm saying? That's good info for when people try to use this on Oki. So my suggestion is any situation where you know she gets a guaranteed follow-up hit on you on the ground, you uh, should mass tech. Not not early. Don't mass tech her. Take the hit and then mass tech. Because just in case that move comes out. All right, next move. This is uh, a 12 frame punish with uh, decent range. Yeah, okay range. And you go into back turn automatically. I don't think you can go fo hold forward or anything like that, right? Oh, guaranteed to go back turn, but this is one of those ways to force a back turn mix up. And in case you didn't know, her back turn mix up has a legit 50 50 throw guess. That's one plus two break right there. And then you just do a generic throw to go with it. So. Well, uh, what is that? One plus three? Two plus two plus three is a one plus two break. And generic throws are like one or two break, but everything from back turn looks like a one plus two break. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's high, high. Okay. She's only minus three. Uh, if she was heavy minus, I was like, oh, all you got to really worry about is her um <sighs> reversal. But... Oh, one plus four works as a back turn throw too. Alright. Okay. It jails. Interesting. So she, uh, kind of like the Master Raven 4 1, except she doesn't have a back turn armor move. And it jails. So she can set up gimmicky shit from back turn. A lot of that, you know what I'm saying? That's interesting. Yeah, that did 53? If it, I think it cobbles on counter. Oh. Oh, well, we verified that her sidestep right isn't the best, so this might not mean anything. You can't straight up sidewalk and make it stair step it, and the window is tight. I would suggest side step left duck if you see this coming. Oh, back turn. I'd be prepared to juggle back turn if you do. Huh. <sighs> Throw. 
What's her back turn uh, counter? This fucker. Three plus four, okay. Oh, that's not that's a throw. I thought that was it says time with enemy attack. Oh I pressed the wrong button, that's why. For real? So it doesn't work against knees. Or elbows. You know, it follows standard uh, reversal rules. And... He doesn't have a 10 frame stand jab from back turn so based on this but she'll exchange if she does that so you know if you have like a hop knee it's not gonna work out too much but if you have like a like a marduk down forward four two you know 13 14 frame uh mid knee or elbow it'll punish this every time i don't think there's anything she can do about it i suspect right Oh no, she could turn around and block it. Sorry, ignore what I just said there. It'll, it'll, it'll be uh, okay to challenge this unless it's unsafe. But she could just turn and block. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I thought she was stuck in back turn. Uh, but yeah, it'll like, it'll beat out gimmicky shit. You know what I'm saying? Stick a like, if you stick a fast mid knee or elbow here, faster than 15 frames, she has to respect it. She can't do shit. You can't step that long. Hmm. All right. Good. That's all. We already verified this shit. If you want to get crazy, yeah, there. No, that no, wasn't it. I gotta. <laughs> this is possible, but it's not easy. Ah! <laughs> If you missed that, that's like uh, minus 17. That's her nine frame knee I did there. Uh, <sighs> playing on a hitbox. With this character, if you're playing on a hitbox, you'll be doing this a lot more, I think. If you happen to be a scumbag playing on a hitbox, get used to block punishing with this, in my opinion. Although, uh, uh, otherwise, um. You go into back turn with this shit. Just go 2-2 two, two if you want. Which is way shittier. My suggestion is 4-2 to go into back turn. Dude, I tried. I sucked at that shit. I still have my hitbox. That was fun playing Soul Calibur with it, though. That Raphael shit. It helped a lot because Raphael's cancels are like back forward and shit. You know? Or forward back, where the fuck it was. Minus five. A little bit of pushback, but you're going to be getting this up close, so not enough to really matter, I think. I see she's too close for it to matter. Once again, it's it's hitting her own sidestep right, but her sidestep right it doesn't seem to be the best here. But it's definitely losing the sidestep left, and her sidestep left is better than average. But she's like, she seems like maybe not the best character to test tracking on, but. <laughs> A 
phone going crazy. Friend that says see to like continue a conversation at random times. Like he won't respond to a message until like the next day at like night or like early in the morning and he'll just continue a conversation where we left off and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, I gotta catch up. Anyway, not now. I'm recording that for now. Yeah. yeah, and then Marduk, Marduk is bad at sidestepping left, as you can see. Oh. It's like super strict for Marduk to get around this. Very strict. I have to like do a very specific timing, which is not reliable in neutral. You already know. Sidewalk seems good. Not for a change of scenery. So Katzon 1 seems to be maybe a bit difficult to get around, but if you're going to try to get around, it go to your left. Are you for real? Are you still texting? <laughs> All good, we'll just look at that cats on one. I landed a cats on counter hit one into forward 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 two earlier, so I'm proud of myself for that. <laughs> I was saying if you're playing this character on hitbox, I'm assuming that's why you mentioned hitbox earlier. If you're playing this character on hitbox, you want to get good at this shit. Very good at like doing that out of any sort of block stun. That's potential 10 frame punish. We haven't gotten there yet, but you know. The Enika combo out of that, but if you miss it, you're getting launched. You should be getting launched at least. Alright, so that's Katana one. It's only minus five, but it's pretty close, so she can't do her back dash shenanigans out of that shit. Okay, this silly move. It looks linear. Hmm. Gotta walk it. You know what I think is going on? Kind of like Marduk, her left arm is sticking out very low instead of very high, but still far out. And I think that's why she's getting clipped trying to go to her right here. Because you see, that's hitting my, my left arm. But Marduk's left arm is super high. Hers is all the way downtown, that elbow, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's messing up her sidestep right. Meanwhile, her right arm, close to the vest. So no issues going the other way here. Obviously, it's gonna crush, right? I mean, you know, do we even need a test? Any low profiling here? Not really. Oh, only minus 11, but at this range? Oh, never mind. Okay. Interesting. Counter is already on. Okay, so Okay, so no pickup here. For twelve frame low didn't combo. It might have been guaranteed, but it didn't combo. I don't think it's guaranteed. You could probably tech. There's no real pickup here. It's just knocked down into Oki. Yeah, 
down hit. That makes sense why it's only minus 11 with pushback. And it is, of course, a sword, so... This is a high crush option for people that throw jabs at you in that stance. That's not super risky, I guess. Oh, this is natural, huh? Lost punishable. <clears throat> you have to block. Ha! <laughs> Alright, hold on. Alright. <laughs> wow, that randomly happened there? How late did I step? Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe Marduk's tall jabs can hit her out of this. But my suggestion is be careful if you jab at this. Sidewalk. You think this is coming? And the window is tiny. It's either I'm like too early or I'm gonna get hit. She comes at like a dive kick angle that messes with bloat retaliations. So tall jabs will probably hit her out of that, but even then my recommendation is to step this. You know, and yeah, it's launch on block too, of course. Still, this is bait for jabbing too much out of this. Oh, there it is, never mind. Or that'll happen. And you're both safe, I guess. Okay, that's knew it. I got hit by this and it wasn't even counter hit and I was confused. I was like, that's not that's not real. I hate when that kind of shit happens. So she's teleporting again here. How about this if you see? Oh boy. Okay, you can kinda one two this. And depending on how how forward you move on your one two, you will get around the launcher too, and you'll end up uh, behind her. Right? See? So if you're gonna jab at this, you might want to just commit to a one two every time. Don't just commit to a single jab. Once again, it's character dependent. Not every character jabs the same way moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, it's a little high, you could duck it too. I think you can sidewalk a lot of this shit. On block. On hit. Go left though. Might as well. Jeez. <sighs> now she can do the dash. We know about that. Back to her. How fast is that? 14. Back turn, we know that. 
teleport, right? There's like no moves out of this stuff. Oh, this dumb shit. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's funny how they have these nonsense moves like this in Tekken that like don't do shit. She also moves back a little bit after every hit. Even if she hits you, you could hit her out of a follow up. She just does one. She is plus six if she hits you. But that shit is 32 frames. Taking up space with that. This is a 13 frame punish with a shitload of range. This kind of reminds me of Bob's forward to uh, whatever, but it's high high instead of high high mid, right? Get okay, launched if you fuck this up. Also a course screw on um, on juggles. Course screw on juggles. We got that going for it. The rage looks really solid, though. And uh, much like with the um, other fucking move, this. Pretty a similar window to confirm this second hit if you want to, like, fish for it. You have a pretty good uh, wide window there. I don't think it's, like, raw hit confirmable, but it's another one where you stick a button out and then you kind of watch what they're doing. <laughs> That's the move you use when your opponent is AFK. Obviously, I don't think this is going to jail. Right? No shocker there. So this is a straight up whiff punish and long range 13 frame punish. 13 frame punish in general, really. Because why would you do, you know, like that over, you know? Knock down for two more damage. Run up and do Oki. Oh. Definitely go right versus this. If they're using it randomly. Stupid dash. Here we go. Oh boy. Well, this is high high. That first hit, oh, I, it always looked mid to me. This is the classic, like, Andy from Fatal Fury and Virtual Fighter, the fucking dash elbow. <laughs> Except it's way cooler when Andy does it because it's like a hard hitting move. For her, it's a poke for some reason. Don't hold down on that nosebleed. Minus 11. Interesting. The teleport fucks with your while standing punish. Really good tracking on that last hit. Okay, 11 frames would exchange here. Yeah, 11 frames would exchange here. Jab interrupts. I did the first hit on counter before. I did it before. Mm -hmm.
Give me the second in on Con Hero make the third combo. Yeah. And if you hold down to break nosebleed, she'll uh she'll course screw you, so don't hold down to break that nosebleed, just take the hit. Only minus three. Oh my god. I've been seeing this move a lot in the neutral. I always assumed it was mid-high when I saw it, because like I keep saying, that elbow looks mid to me. Basically, here's what I'm running into in the Kunimitsu, Kunimitsu army so far. I'll space back here, because I already know what's going to happen. That's uh, they, don't, they don't even fucking try to play neutral right now. They're still learning. They're still figuring it out. So it's just, this is what's going to be coming. This is their neutral from back here. They don't close the gap, nothing. This is this. And then, like, try to, like, you know, try to do, like, corny shit, like, you know. Yada yada, right? So, I just kind of let him come in. Or I look for this to, to block punish. But, yeah, um, I think it's all right. Kind of hard to, to step her shit, but I am playing Marta, you know, so... Seem to be a timing where I could step it left, so it's definitely really good at catching left side step. Got to go right. But don't sidewalk. Never mind, you can sidewalk. <laughs> I thought it caught me earlier. Is this the stream you were thinking about? I don't know, it's the same startup. Minus nine again with this bullshit. So it's just like 1 1. It's just like 1 1. Except it's just the alpha, there's like the enders. It's just like. See? Same enders. Look at how his space is hurt. Come on. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> Don't fucking swing. Jesus. Is this a tutorial fight? Yes. What's up, awards? How's it going? Maybe Katan won. It gives her a plus 12, I think. Yeah, I went over that earlier, Romeo. I said, I, and I told you I landed the fucking. I just did it again. I landed the follow up, the hard one. 50 damage. <laughs> I already went over that shit. Um. So yeah, this string is freaking... This is the actual annoying string. Fuck that other string. To do this string all day. Do that shit all day. I was on late. Okay, it just knocks down. Further out. It's one of those counter hits that... Knock you further out? Yeah. It's one of those counters that knock you really far out and then you roll. Man, that's annoying as hell. Alright. Thumb screen. You could definitely interrupt this one. Hold up. What? Huh. 
Okay, she's uh, a little short, so her jump arc. She's a little short, so her jump arc kind of messes with this, man. This is minus four on block. It seems like cool. It seems like a jungle lander that you could spike with or break the floor with. Right? Can't walk it. Can't walk it. Guarantee follow-ups, right? <laughs> this is a weird one. Like, how do you even punish this consistently? Yeah, she can't because her sidestep right sucks. But other characters can sidestep right this turn. Can't even sidewalk it. The start, the startup, you could sidestep right. I already went over that. You could start the startup. You could sidewalk and sidestep it right. But the moment you uh you block the first hit, you gotta guess kind of, kind of. But there's no real mix-up on the guess. There's no low. It's just annoying how safe she is. And she can kind of pitbull you toward the wall with all this nonsense. I guess at the end of the day, the question is, why should you ever swing at her on a lot of this stuff? Because if you force her to just play neutral, her neutral game is kind of ass. Outside of baiting whips, her, her low game isn't really there for mix-ups. Outside of full crouch. So she has to kind of shenanigan her way through it. You know? Minus three. A plus three force crouch. No, that's not force crouch. It looks like it, but it's not. But this is plus three for her. Exchange with jabs? Really? Never mind. I was slow. Never mind. I was just very slow. down this is the one right here yeah that's the one that's the really annoying one safe on block thankfully no pushback on this though Good move. This shit hits me by accident so much. 30 frame of uh, 30 damage, sorry. 30 damage. This shit is good. And it spins on normal hit. Plus 12. Although plus 12 for a standing, what does that really mean, right? <laughs> what crazy ass low is she gonna mix you up with? You know what I'm saying? She has to go to full crowd, so she has to be like... <laughs> Better get good at instant full crouch moves. Combo starter, we already know. I don't know what the combo is, but it's there. Oh, that's a, that's a screw or a bound? That counts as a screw, right? Yeah, that's a screw. Okay, counts as a screw. So you can't screw again after that. Here's the corny ass slide. <laughs> That shit sucks. This shit sucks. I don't respect the slide when it hits me. <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, do whatever, the, do whatever you want. Go ahead. 
People act like this is supposed to scare you into falling for that shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, no, you gotta use it, of course. What I'm saying is, people are playing this character like they could force whatever mix-up they want when that hits. So I'm like, go ahead, try it. Fucking try it. <laughs> I don't respect anything after that shit hits me. But on counter hit, though, you get a combo, right? Yeah, whatever the combo is. She gets it. She gets uh, high damage on her juggles, right? I've heard that she pulls, like, in the 70s off of, like, DF2s and shit like that. Or maybe it was up for three. <sighs> we gotta see it from far away. seems so good and it is minus 16 to minus f wait how many active frames okay that's a lot of active frames so there's gonna be setups maybe kind of like a lot of these other slides where when you knock them away and then you go for this right when you get up and they block it you might be able to make it not uh, my numbers might be a little off here but you might be able to make it about minus 10 at best or uh, minus 11 at, at best you have to be super fucking far. Maybe it's because she's doing it on snow, but there it is, minus 14 I got. This looked like a knee to me at first, but now I see it's not, so. Low parry. That move is kind of whatever. And this hits grounded. So if you knock people down and you want to go for something a mid that hits grounded, other than, you know, the slide will be the low. Like, you, let's say you did some, like, knockback. You went right for it. Well, apparently it doesn't hit Cody Mitsu grounded. This hits other characters grounded. <laughs> so never mind what I was saying earlier. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it was because I was Marduk. I didn't really think it through. <laughs> you know? Nah, back forward was different. It's a different looking move, different hitbox and shit. Yeah, see? I already know that. I think it's like, you saw so little of her in um, Tag 2 that it's like, I can't even remember what was in Tag 2 and what wasn't. Anyway, um, you can sh the, uh, some Kuni players see like a shenanigan out of this. They go, oh, it's safe, and instead of just ducking, they'll just go for a fucking high crushing low. And of course, they'll go for this one. That's their favorite, right? That. Um, but it is minus eight. So, uh, outside of countering, she has to hold that shit. I'll give you an example, right? Not that. I think she has a follow-up, but why is she not doing it? Why is she not doing forward three? All right, I felt the sneeze come. Okay. So you could go, you could hit her with a fast mid. She had 14 frames. So, 14 frames mid you can hit her with, and if they're not like, if they're normal moves, she could counter that. I'm guessing, right? 
your poly uh, starts up on frame uh, three like usual, if not frame two. And it also has that follow up that I did by accident. Okay. Obviously, not enough frames to stop that. Not enough frames to stop that. Also, you can just go low. I think that's a counter hit screen. I don't know. Uh, and obviously, if you want to call that out, you can just go right away for a 15 frame knee launcher if you got it. In the case of Marduk, I could probably punish this every single time with down forward 4 2, which is nice. And there's the second hit. Damn. Make the first hit with. Okay. No guaranteed follow ups there. mid ha. minus 13 too oh that's fucked up yeah that just sucks But it is natural combo. This is the weird, this is one of the shittiest animations I've ever fucking seen. Look what happens when she misses this. <laughs> what am I fucking looking at? Look at that, she stops momentum. She kicks off of nothing and then she slides back after posting this up with her hands. <laughs> Yo, that shit is trash, man. That's some COVID animation right there, man. COVID era, right? <laughs> what a butt ugly animation, man. That shit is trash. Anyway, she lands crouching on us. The sit. I mean, she already recovers crouching, but you can stay crouching, I guess. You don't have to stand and then go back to crouch. So she can be like, you know what I'm saying? Instantly, basically. That's what that's good for. I don't see much of this. Anytime I see a full crouch low from her, everybody goes for this. I'm like, you don't have to go all or nothing. This is perfectly fine, too. What do I know, right? Oh, sliding sweep. Oh. Oh, okay. It's the dash. That's why. Okay. Then you can just also hold down during the dash, too. And immediately do it. Oh, but the sweep is faster. He gets you killed if you keep doing it. That's why. Covering that's pretty slow. So this is mostly a juggle ender. Minus 14. I wouldn't use that on a neutral if I were you. This is basically a juggle ender. It does floor break. Also, one of the weird things about it is 
if you do it off of like a wall carry and you break the floor with it, she pulls you away from the wall, but she, she, she could, uh, she's still positioned where she could re-splash you into the wall after a floor break. Even though it looks like she switches, she should switch sides. That seems to be how it happens when she floor breaks. Right. I don't know what her actual wall combo is. Oh, she didn't dash. Uh, if it's a low wall hit, it won't work. <laughs> I just imagine I did like a full wall carry into this. See? And, I, and then you could like potentially re-splat and then do a wall combo again. I don't know what the optimal thing to do here is. So like picture that, you know, you launch them mid-stage, right? And then they wall splat and then you dash right into that. You break the floor and then you position to do a string. Not just a single hit, a string to resplat them, and then you can get a wall combo. Apparently, at the moment, there's also a glitch about her uh, rage drive. When you do her rage drive after a, a, a floor break, her damage isn't scaling. So as of right now, her rage drive after floor break is busted. So you know, put two and two together here. Now, if anybody has like a juggle example I could use there, I'll show it off. But I don't know her. I don't know her wall combo or her juggle or shit. I just know that this is often used for wall splatting. Counter hit string. This shit hurts. So this is the knee that goes into the dash. Get plus seven out of it. So if they go with mid, the slide is gonna counter hit. Over two, three to respect, probably. But like, what's a full wall carry combo? That I don't know. So this is zero. If you, uh, this is scary. Because if they block, right? It's only zero. And if you challenge with a 13 frame mid, that's gonna counter hit you. And it's safe on block. And if you challenge with a 12 frame, it'll counter hit you, but she won't get the follow up hit. Because it doesn't do shit without the follow-up hit. I could show both examples right now. See? But if you exchange with a uh, 12-frame mid... Oh, she still definitely gets a combo. Never mind. Oh, that's crazy. But then it becomes... What do you do out of this stance mix-up? And it really, really what matters now is this is the low and the grab, right? Right. Good. Lanier. And Lanier, right? Also probably sidewalk. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, you saw I tried to punish her in the back and she teleported and hit me in the back. All right, just let it play out. Let it all play out. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh man, the spacing is crazy too. Got your wrestling shoes in the mail. Good shit. What'd you get? You got some auto mixes? That's what I used to wear. See how Punk used to wear that shit too. When he was on the on the on the floor on the ring, and you would see the bottom of his shoe auto mix. I was like, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, sidewalk right just gets around everything out of this situation on block. Obviously not on hit, I don't think. I say obviously, I'm assuming, I don't know. Yeah. The gap is too tight. So, if, even if she hits you, you gotta guess, but here's the thing about guessing in this stance. This motherfucker, what normal hit mid-launcher does she have out of this stance? Cause I haven't seen one. Did you guys see one? You don't got no mid normal hit mid launcher. The highest damage thing she has is that shit on normal hit, right? So it's like, all right. So you're telling me that if she tries to like force this. I could just duck and only risk eating like maybe 30 damage, but if I block that low, I launch her? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then if I just stand and block every fucking mid, even though they're like all safe, all she could do to me is that for 17 damage and zero on hit. You get what I'm saying? Like, as long as you're breaking this fucking grab, as long as you're breaking that grab, to 16 frames, what? Um, anyway, as long as you're breaking this grab, her damage ain't shit out of that stance. You need to get counter hit for her damage to be worth a shit here, unless your back is to the wall. And um, every once in a while, it's, I think this is worth doing, even if they block the knee. Every once in a while. And then when her back is to the wall, you can get a little crazy with them. Maybe. Every once in a while. But not too much. Yeah, but the thing is, the grab is always going to be the same break. It's not like back turn. It's always going to be the same break. Right? In this stage, this is scary, I suppose, right? But, but, um, if you just duck and if they just throw that shit out raw. But most of the time, it's kind of whatever, right? The... Yeah, this stance is kind of bunk. It's gonna like hit all of us a lot, we all know this. But just re remember what I'm saying here in the long run. Sidewalk right to stand stuff when you can. Step guard right, if you can. And it's okay to just guess on the stance, it really is. If you can't launch the low on block, low parry that shit. Guess low parry, because you're not gonna run into like super crazy mids here, right? What's up? Is that a one one plus two? That's not a mix up though, right? You can react, right? I don't think so. Her back turn her back turn is. Let's see. Oh yeah, this bootleg looking grab. I think that's just a one break. It's a unique grab animation though. <laughs> With 15 frames. You can do that from the neutral too. By the way, that's zero and we're both back turn. So my suggestion to you is don't challenge her. Get out of there. Whoop. Get out of there. Whoop. Cause chances are, she, you know, you're not playing character with back turn moves like she has. Yeah, but like, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a believer in that stuff. That's like gimmicky shit. If it works, it works, but that's not the kind of thing that makes a character good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh yeah, that dumbass animation is it's like Law's run up throw. Unique break. Also, I bet that's Lanier too. Even if it tracks step left, you shouldn't be going left. I established that you go right. So, big deal. Over three by itself is... Essentially, this is also a juggle filler too. You run up and then you do it into that. Okay. Um, the knee by itself, oops, 15 frames. No counter hit properties, right? Yeah, nothing's guaranteed here. So it's kind of whatever. And then the only purpose of this knee is to go into that dash, whether it's a juggle filler or not. Kind of whatever. If she hits somebody back turn with this, I don't think she's going to get too much guaranteed. Maybe the two and that's it. Like that, right? Obviously, I can't I can't counter this because it's a sword. Or is that too? Or a dagger or whatever. So that's a high. I don't think that's gonna combo if she hits you in the back. Let's see. <laughs> Even if it did. See? Has to be mid. And uh that's too slow. That's 13, but I don't think it's fast enough. Okay. I wonder if that combos in that angle. <laughs> of course, it is a kick at the end of the day. But it gets a normal matchup. Knock me down at a weird angle, I guess. Oh, no, I did the wrong move. That's fine. Well, it's it's a good knockdown situation, but I don't think she gets anything guaranteed. I'm trying to see if she gets a like uh, guaranteed combo off of it. They'll have good Oki, if nothing else. Yeah, nah. That's not gonna float nothing, well. So she, she just gets uh, good Oki, I guess. This is a 14 frame knockdown. damage and there's probably some evasiveness going on here kind of like Lily's one plus two maybe not 
I mean, from max range, but that's about it. That's kind of whatever. They knocked down. I guess it's just like uh, you sidestep with their back to the wall and then just BAM! If you need a whiff punish, a fast whiff punish, they're back to the wall. That's the only use I can see for this move right here. Maybe like a wall combo under on a low wall hit. I doubt it. I usually see strings as wall combos for her. So, you know, a little bit of hot, right? And it is minus 11, so get fucked. Leo hard what are you talking about and if anything messes up Leo's game in this it's the uh, the changes to the game around Leo having have, have uh, makes Leo feel worse that's it Leo's fine outside of that Leo's fine in like a relatively fair way but it's still in an obnoxious way you know one of those things where you gotta play the character for a while and then you feel the weaknesses a little bit here and there. But at the end of the day, you can play around that stuff. This is Leo's a fucking boring character. Play a fun character. <laughs> play a fun character, damn it. That dull ass shit. Minus two. Still on the slow side. I mean, 18 is not that slow, but you could risk getting floated by shit, and then it's still a high, you know what I'm saying? But mine is still ain't bad, considering that happens on counter hit as well. Oh. And it knocks down on normal hit. It doesn't, like, spin or whatever, you know? Shit hits from downtown. The rage isn't super bad either. This is the most obnoxious freaking string. I hate this string. This is the shit that they'll throw out on you randomly. These Kazumi, uh, Kazumi. Um, these, um. Oh my god, this shit is so fucked up, right? Here's what's messed up about this. At least it's minus 14, so it's pretty bad on block certain matchups. It's very bad. Minus 14 force crouch on this, right? The second hit combos into the third hit, normal hit. For a pretty good amount of damage. Right? Trying to see if the forward forward two is ever guaranteed. Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. So the, so the second hit makes the third hit guaranteed. The first hit on counter hit makes the whole thing combo for 44 damage. Which wall splats obviously. 13 frames, so it's off of a DF1. So you gotta you gotta like a normal hit threat off of a DF1, and then the DF1 itself becomes a counter hit threat here. And then she can freaking mix it up with this, and if they dunk that, they eat that string. Cause the thing about this is some of her highest damage juggles is off the second hit counter hit on that. DF1 three. Right? And uh, that also combos on counter hit like super annoying right and it's minus nine on block but we already established this range her back dash is gonna make everything with right 
So the second hit is minus 10 if you want to challenge it. And the third hit forces Crouch at minus 14. Right? Thank God for Marduk's new punish. He's not crouching herself. So you could hit her with a high. So now it becomes, we already established that her DF1 is kind of linear here. So we're going to test it on Marta. Right, we're going to change the stage though. My computer did a beep, did it? I'm still looking for a PS5. Oh, nothing yet today. What does Wario 64 say? Nothing. I still got one in my cart on PS Direct. Sony Direct, whatever. <laughs> All right, so now, now we got to test if her DF1 is actually super duper linear. And a uh, solid character to test it against here. Because if he steps it, then everybody's going to fucking step it, except for, like, Eddie and Gigas, you know? <laughs> Bears, I guess. Um... Hey, that's, he's bad at stepping that way, so that makes sense. Oh, we got one of these. Oh, great. I love it. The Dragon Off situation, right? Yep. <laughs> How far away that trip's from. Tekken 7 Classic, inconsistent sidestep, yep. Tekken 7 Original, baby. Oh, but sidestep duck, so you can get hit by all the other tracking mids. See, she's able to step her own DF1. Right? She was able to step her own DF1 to her left. It seems like that's the only way it naturally tracks in most matchups. So you, if against her DF1, you generally want to go to your right. Just be careful for weird inconsistencies like this, as you can see. Had to do a lot of step guarding. Got some fucking dragon off shit going on with her DF1. That's super duper annoying, man. Yeah. Don't you see what's happening? He's only stepping it when I when they make him block a block a, a stand jab. He's not stepping it off of anything else. And you think, oh, that means it's plus one, but then you put yourself in another plus one situation. And all of a sudden you can't step that either. Because it's second seven and it's stupid like that. Busted ass movement. Right? There it is. See? Now she she's doing it inconsistently. <laughs> which is funny. But she did it one time, you saw that. There it is. It makes no sense. <laughs> the logic is just not there. Whatever. 
Now all of a sudden she's able to go right too. Like what? <laughs> oh boy. The fucked up thing is. Boom, you get clipped. That third hit is gonna hit you if you get clipped. Trying to step into a button. Ugh. But her DF1 strings are really good. Like, really, really fucking good. And then her DF1 by itself is only minus two. It's not even like minus three or four, like a, like a, for a lot of other. What's going on, E Man the Duke? How you doing, man? So, yeah. Oh, that doesn't nosebleed, too. So, yeah, like I said earlier, this shit, the second hit right here. That's like some of her highest damage juggles from what I'm seeing. I don't know how to do them, but I see people busting out like mid 80s and shit on Twitter off of this. And minus nine, but it pushes them downtown on block, so. See that? Yeah, you're good. Especially with this character's backdash. So just backdash after this shit, you know? Don't, I suggest in minus nine situations, just backdash once and hold back. Do not backdash cancel. You're gonna get clipped by random shit that chases you down, like an instant running three or something. In minus nine situations where you're spaced out like this, one backdash and just kind of hold back for a moment, assess that they didn't chase you down really quick, and then do whatever. Right? But don't 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 try to get too cute with oh no, and then that's when you get fucking clipped by stupid shit. All right. Her DF2, you Leo players are whining about your DF2? Her DF2, I mean, you know, it, it is better than Leo's, but <laughs> her DF2 doesn't launch crouchers, right? On normal hit. Right? But the way this hits, it makes it so she actually clips a lot of characters from downtown. So when she kind of just throws this shit out from back here, it's like a Claudio neutral hawking situation, where if you stick a button out, you're gonna get hit and she's gonna launch you. But if you try to whiff punish this shit, because her blade is in a hit box or her box or whatever, it's fairly difficult to whiff punish this. You gotta have like more range than you think. But right, that has a shitload of range. So she's good at whiff punish her own shit. Ooh, that goes further out. See how far out that shit hits from? For no reason. But I'm trying to show you that a lot of moves that do shit like this, it's like Negan's down forward too, it's similar. It, it, it's similar. The fact that these weapon attacks reach that far out but don't have a hurt box of their own makes it so they could be difficult in the neutral to whiff punish. Luckily, she has really good whiff punishment. Really good range. Wow, the first hit whiffed, and the second hit still punished. <laughs> that is really good. That's a really good whiff punish, because you just press the second hit, and if the first hit whiffs, there's like not much of a gap here. See? You still get a fucking launch. And it's 20 damage. It's not even low damage. That's fucked. The thing is, Leo, yeah, like, like uh, Milo just said, Leo, down forward two, Leo steps forward, DF2, and then steps back. Kuni Mitsu is just kind of like, she, she moves a little forward, and she's just, she is where she is, right? If this were Leo, and I would try to whiff punish Leo's arm, and I missed, I'm going to whiff, and I'm going to get launched. Right? That's how Leo's DF2 is, and that's part of why they made it, like, as like they gave it the issues that it has. They gave it like, you know, it doesn't launch crouchers and it's still unsafe. <sighs> now I believe this for Kuni Mitsu tracks both sides. Never mind. I lied. Well then again her sidestep left is better than average, so Test test your own character sidestep left against it. Just to be sure. But definitely can't go right against it. Unless you're like Lily, maybe. Um, 
But it is uh, minus 12 on block. With like zero blocks done. There's like not much blocks done on this. But you can punish this pretty easily with a jab. I think you can get it. It's not that bad. Not much. It's just like very little blocks done. So you might not get minus 12 on it unless you're you're uh, anticipating that uh, this specific move is going to get thrown out. This is the kind of shit that would hit Marduk from like back here. It would hit Marduk's left arm because of the way it's attacking, the angle. So certain matchups, certain characters, you're going to be like trying to dash block from like back here and then you all of a sudden run into this move from downtown and you're like, what the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. That is what's happening. It's dumb, but it is what it is, right? I fucking hate it, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's what's going on with this move, right? Doesn't launch crouchers, so it's not a mix-up tool. Uh, if you're going to whiff punish, I suppose the risk is less on this. That's the difference. I'd still suggest going for up 4, 3, 4 for whiff punishment. Just because of that second hit covering you, you know what I'm saying? Although if you whiff this, it's going to be a much bigger chance for them to whiff punish you with uh, launcher. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, and, you know, up close sidestepping, I would go for this instead of up forward three. Just less risky, maybe. If you, like, feel like if you're, like, baiting a whiff and then you want to go for that, you know. Go for that. Oh, Gimmick City over here. This is one of those, like, uh, Katarina's mid-low string. Um, it combos on counter hit, I believe. Down forward three, too, yeah. Knocks down, probably guaranteed follow-up. On, on a normal hit. Right? Yeah, that's definitely guaranteed. I don't know if she gets a combo off of it, but that's guaranteed. 34, what was the other one? 39, so forward, forward two, definitely is what you want, want to go for here. And uh, second hit on counter hit, same knockdown. Okay, so the thing here is... If you hold down, you cancel it to crouch, and she has, you know, low crouch stuff. So, you know, you already know. You've seen this kind of screen before. Gimmick City. Obviously, there's no low parry in the second hit here, because it's a dagger. But it is minus 15. So, you know, you got a 15 frame launcher. Punish it. Um, she recovers standing, thankfully. So, Marta could definitely get his new punish on that. Otherwise, he'd get while standing four, which is whatever. Um... Yep. So yeah, um, expect like I've already seen it. They're gonna try to gimmick you out with this shit, like it's good. It's it's not. You could react to this if you're sharp and you're looking for it. Like, don't assume that you that. If you think they're gonna cancel, don't assume an autopilot and a super unsafe while standing like move. Just kind of throw out a quick poke at him. You know, like a quick while standing four. If you see the cancel, bam. Just don't let him get away with it. And if they happen to block it, you're fine. You know what I'm saying? Don't throw out some unsafe shit when you don't don't see a cancel. Because she could just block and then you might get punished. You know what I'm saying? Right? See? Like if you're looking for the cancel, you just try to autopilot a launcher, you could easily block it. If she's minus 5 when she cancels, even if she hits you. If she doesn't hit you, she's minus 13. But my suggestion is just duck block and then wait to see. Alright, let's test tracking on the down forward 3. Really? Damn, for real? Oh, it's plus four on counter hit. I didn't realize. So it's a little bit better on counter hit too, frame wise. But that's kind of whatever. It's just to help it combo into the second hit, I'm sure. Yep, go right. I'm happy for that because Marty will go right. Don't go left against that. Right. Anyway. Ah, this move. This shit is like right out of Soul Calibur. 
Like a lot of removes. That's natural. She recovers pretty slow here. Yeah, no guaranteed pickup for a combo. I don't know if there's any guaranteed follow-ups. Four four two out of recovery, but she recovers kind of slow, so the timing is awkward. You don't hold back. Probably side roll this, right? Oh, can he tech? No teching, so this is guaranteed, I think. Oops. Yeah, that's guaranteed. But it's minus 14, so it's kind of whatever. So this is one of those that looks like it might be good on Oki, but I'm pretty sure if the first hit hits you, you could tech around the second hit, so I don't know if you should do that. Maybe I'm wrong here. Yeah, see? So don't do it. She's safe, though, but... I still wouldn't recommend it. You might even be plus there. Maybe as a wall combo ender, I don't know what this what good this move is to be honest with you. If the first hit guaranteed the second hit, this would probably be one of those moves that does like unscaled final hitting combos and shit. But Okay, well it does combo. To break the floor and shit. Okay, cartwheel. I should probably test the tracking on that. I keep forgetting. Begulin here. Maybe there's some Oki situations where this could be really good. But as far as neutral goes, I don't see a, a reason to use this in the neutral. Alright, cartwheel. How many active frames do we got? It doesn't matter because the second hit is going to mess it up, right? Nothing on counter. Minus two. Hmm. So this is definitely a low crush. I don't know how early it's gonna low crush though. Never mind. She's airborne. It's not low crush though. Okay, I was curious what the second hit by itself would do on counter hit. Another silly little move, little move here. Maybe it has some grounded hitting application. Not even. It looks like it should. But she just goes right through him. Yeah. 
That hits on the last frame, she's plus nine. All right. Uh, I don't know. 10 to 20 damage. Ten damage, twenty damage on second hit. Duper 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 linear. High crush, I don't know. I it's just high crush. I doubt it. Alright, well. Not a true high crush, but she'll avoid certain stubby jabs. It is plus seven. Minus two. Eh, I mean that's that's just whatever. That's just kinda whack. Going to back turn at minus two. Alright, now we got some gimmicks we could play with here. Minus two back turn. You could still challenge with the uh with a fast knee if you got her or a fast elbow. Mid. Like Arctic down four three. But um Minus two is a little better than, you know, minus three, obviously. <laughs> and if she hits this, plus seven back turn is not bad. But then she she got that shit. She go plus six back turn. That's way easier to connect than this slow-ass move that you get floated out of. So maybe if you end a wall combo with that shit, I don't know. Like, if you wanted to get, like, really stupid, let's see if this works. I don't know. Probably, even if it does work, it probably sucks. Yeah, not even. I wanted to see if you could set it up as like a low wall hit. Doesn't look like you can. You'd have to immediately do it, and then it could wake up on back turn. That's not worth it. Do a proper wall combo. Her wall combos hit pretty hard, I think. Yeah, that move looks trash. I'm trying to find uses for it. Uh, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I got your Google. I haven't looked at it, but I got your Google Doc. I want to. I want to find out my own shit, and then I'll read it afterwards. <laughs> Good looking out, dude. Did he running through? Yeah, that move is definitely trash. Um, this is a silly ass move, I think. This is one of those. One of those, like, yeah, it's one of those. One of those you can just kind of throw out, I think, because it's minus three. The range is really good, so you can throw it from back here and bait whiffs. All day long. Look at that shit. Look at that range. This is crazy. That doesn't hit grounded, right? Definitely doesn't hit grounded. So, though, you force crouch. And you get plus five with them. Force crouch on hit. That's pretty good. Especially because you do have a low counter hit bait here. That's 16 frames. So if they come up uh, with anything slower than while standing uh, uh, 11 frames, got this shit. And I think you could counter hit confirm this string, although you have to commit to the low high in the first place. So. Anyway, we'll get to that string later. This is a move you'll see more in a neutral. So I'm just going to try to step it a bit in a neutral and see how it feels. Mm. Oh, there's a major weakness. Never mind. It's too linear. I mean, it's still okay if you move around a bit before doing it, but it's a little, it's too, it's too linear. It should at least track to her left. This is the string I was talking about. This is a cheap ass string. All right, here's here's my thing about this string. I'm surprised I don't see the string being abused all day. These three hits are minus nine. The first hit 
it all combos and she's plus four. And then even if you block it, she could threaten with a minus 13 knockback. Right? So imagine dealing with this shit at the wall. You know? It still doesn't compensate for her lack of lows. What characters did I look through on stream? Ah, uh, to be honest with you, I don't even remember. Paul and Paul, Gigas, I played a bit. Uh, I didn't play as Paul, but I played as Gigas. Um, obviously, Marduk. Uh, Nina, I looked at. Anyway, you're distracting me. Focusing on Kuni Misser right now. Um, so these first three hits, this is just kind of like some shit you could just kind of throw out. No delay on any of the hits. But that that happens there. So let's see where you could actually swing in this string. Yeah, the first three hits jail, right? The last hit jails too, so that's what's keeping this shit not too cheap. Okay, so that's the thing. You cannot fall for the for the last hit. I was wrong about that because it all jails. So that part of it is like a wall combo, right? Yeah, the last hit doesn't connect as a low wall hit though. Yeah, there it did. <laughs> oh, just one DF1 only. Right? I think the first three hits are still pretty good, though. Look at the range. tracking now these these it's not as good as I thought because the last hit you can't use it as bait the fourth the fourth hit but these first three three hits I'd use this shit as a round ender So we already know this whole thing combos on counter hit. For 57 damage, that is a lot of damage. And it does feel like you could counter hit confirm this. Um, if you catch a button, that kind of counter confirm, I mean. Stop on a second hit, it's only okay, no special counter properties on the other two hits. First hit, minus three. Minus fourteen, yeesh. Unfortunately, as a low poke bait, it's trash. But if you want to just go for a counter hit string, there's worse things for like 50 something damage. It's not that good. Not that good. 
It's not that good. Damage is uh, okay, at least. Not worth the risk. <laughs> he knew that shit wasn't at sea, but it was just hitting you, right? Does it track, though? The low has some tracking, but the, the high doesn't. And you shouldn't track on the low high. <laughs> That's not a natural combo. You know what I'm saying? Especially one with as big a gap as that. Nagi. You know. I'm looking. I'm. I'm. I. Damn it. I talk about neutral shit. I rarely talk about combo shit. <laughs> you know this by now. You're not new here. So I don't care if like, oh, that's just like for juggles. That's just for juggles. I'm still going to test it in the neutral because if you go in thinking that and then you never deal with this move in the neutral, then you don't know what the fuck is going on. And they're just going to start throwing this shit on you and then you're not going to know. Now you know. <laughs> that's the idea here. So yeah, the, the low tracks. Right? Like most low pokes. But uh, the second hit sucks. And the gap between the, the third hit and the um, the last hit are way is way too big, you know what I'm saying? This is why I do this. This is why I always go, I don't care how a shitty a move looks in a neutral. I'm gonna like go through it. So you don't get randomed out. Because uh, most other people tell you this move sucks because this and that, this and that, right? And then you, you don't see it happen, you don't retain it, and then you try to be like, oh yeah, that move sucks, so I'm never gonna see that move. And then you're gonna see that move, and then you're gonna fucking lose to the move. You know what I'm saying? That's how this shit always goes. Show your work. This string, I think, was pretty good. The character with no shortage of good strings. There's no lows to mix them up with. Look at that range. Some solid range on this. Only plus two, but she has bait. Second hit on counter does not make the third combo. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, same knockdown, but I don't think she gets anything. If she gets anything, it's like one hit off of this knockdown. Yeah. Uh, yep. See, if that picked up, that could have been cool. But it don't. Anyway, last hit here is my. It is safe. Let's see if she could step it. <clears throat> Down back. No float. Oh. Well, 15 frames <laughs> interrupts it. The good, like, uh, kind of do whatever the fuck you want to her. 16? 16 interrupt? Damn. I don't even know what's 17 for her. The 18 frame exchange. Jesus. That's a huge gap. Huge gap. This might be like a. All combo in there. Oh yeah. Considering it's mid mid safe and natural. Now if the third hit combo on counter hit, you'd have something here. If the second hit counter hit and you get the third hit, but you don't get that. Oh, off of one, two. The classic.
16 frames. This is not too bad. It's not the damage is super high, but the range, safe mid mid, natural. That's pretty good. The third hit is fucking whatever. Don't even, don't even bother. I mean, it's only plus two, but the third hit is there probably because on hit she'll catch you doing stuff. So you can't. You have to block it if the first two hits hits you. That's about it. You know what? There's one more pickup she might get. I didn't try it. There you go. There's your pickup. Uh, DP2. <laughs> it's not really a cross dash, even though it is the cross dash input. You gotta do it fast, though. My hand's kind of numb. I'm resting my elbow on my desk. So yeah, the idea is you're only plus two, so you have to commit to that last hit to get anything super threatening off of it, I guess. But it's whatever. Is it just me or did I not see her jab punish? Her jab punish is this. I feel like I didn't see that on the list or I skipped it by accident. One, two, two is her jab punish. Was that on the list? Apparently I missed this. I went from this to this. Let me go, let me talk about this right now. And this, I missed all these moves and I somehow skipped to this one earlier. I'm gonna go back. Sorry about that. This is her actual 10 frame, her jab punish. Only plus four, but I'm not, she's like right in your face. That's not bad. You can go into back turn, but you're going to be minus eight. On hit. Minus 16 on block. If, she, if it were like Feng and she could do the whole string and then go back turn, then we'd be talking here, but it is whack. Just do the one, two, two and take your plus four and go on from there. And then this, I believe, is her 10 frame counter hit. Yeah, there you go. So you have uh, 10 frame counter hit bait. That's minus 14. That was worse the unblock than I fucking thought. Holy shit. <laughs> See, in situations like this, where it's like, oh, that's like plus four, that's like plus five. What does that matter on a character that has no lows from standing? She has to be back turn to full crouch. Okay, so make a back roll. Counter hit. It's like, one, two, four. It's like, one, two, four. Watch out for my generic low. You know? <laughs> one, two, four. Like, what other low are we going to do that's, that's going to... Oh, this, of course. <laughs> that shit's crazy. It's very odd. I feel like if she had a good low pole game, she'd be too good though with these strings. So yeah, these first two hits are good. <laughs> You've been jabbing her back. Minus 16. It's like Jack's forward one, two, two. Never do it against anyone who was awake. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. minus 16. Wait, what's minus 16? What's up, Zakishi? I mean, I'll go back and forth. What's minus 16? Actually, what are you talking about? 1, 2, 2? Oh, I've never had it. I didn't even pay attention to it on block because I've been thinking about it so much as a block punish. No, bro, it's back turn 1, 2, 2. On block. Look. See? Why is my move this button colors all weird? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Psycho. I'm playing on PS4 right now, so these are PS4 colors. Yeah, yeah, no, no, bro, I get you, I get you. No, it's when she goes into back turn on block, she's minus 16. You just gotta react. I think that high in the end does have counter hit properties. 
So if you swing at her, let me see, let me make sure. I think the idea here is never mind. <laughs> never fucking mind. <laughs> so she has to do gimmicky minus frame shit to go into back turn on block. You know? Here's my suggestion to you Cooney players. Any up close with punishment, if you need something fast, don't do that. Sorry. Never mind that. <laughs> I was gonna suggest doing two four, but she has a sidestep four to overlap with that. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> At the very least, she has a very slow side. <laughs> that shit is mad slow. She has a pretty damn slow, pretty big animation giveaway on a low here off the sidestep. Um. Um. If you're looking to whiff punish, and you need something fast from like here, go with two, two, uh, four, two. I wish you could do it off of sidestep, but basically you actually have threatening mix-ups from back turn that you don't get, including a low poke. You get a fucking low poke from back turn, ten frame plus three on hit low poke from back turn, right? Any situation where you could get plus frames and go into back turn, take that shit. Same thing about any situation you could get plus frames and go into crouch. Take that shit. Because then the problem becomes, I'm plus four. Let me try to force force this. The thing is, for against really good players, not me, good players, <laughs> um, they they get a feel for that pause in the moment. And then they'll do like delay catches on you all day long. Or they just, they'll feel it's coming and then they're like, block low. They'll just know. So just trying to take your plus frames to get them to stand still and then going into full crouch and shit. That's, it's okay, it can work, but it's like, you're not fucking Julia, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not gonna work out super well for you. Um, so. I delay that quite a bit. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're not Julia, dude. You're not Julia. Because she could do that and she'll just do the first hit of bow and arrow and you blocked it. She's like, I don't give a fuck. You know? <laughs> she has all sorts of different levels of baiting that she could do to you. Like multi tiered baiting. Cooney is just like, full crouch, you blocked, I'm dead. The end. I wish that was Julia, but it's not. Uh, at the very least, she has this mid mid at safe, but we haven't gotten there yet. So, anytime that you can get plus frames and put yourself in crouch. Or put yourself into back turn off of a string or whatever. Take that shit. Because then you actually have a mix-up. If you're just taking plus frames standing in front of people, you really kind of don't have a mix-up. That's just how it is. And that's the thing that's like keeping her balanced. And it's a fucking silly way to balance a character, but whatever. What do I know? Right? I'm sitting here doing this and I'm not over there making Tekken games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh, this shit. You know, it's no, it's no different from Yoshimitsu. She falls down. He does fall down kind of fast, though. I don't know if that's how fast he falls. I don't think. She, um, I don't think you could. Uh, like you have to pick her up immediately, right? Like you can't crouch cancel into anything, can you? Five step down three didn't come out for some reason. Fall down, fall down. What do you know? You could float her. So Arslan put out something on. You know what? Not to talk shit about Arslan. This is not. Let me be clear. I'm not talking shit about Arslan. Let me double check something that he put out there on Twitter. <laughs> Because if he put, if he didn't test this the way I, I hope he did, it's like you'd think he would know better than to say certain things. But let's see. Oh, I gotta hold it. Hold it, you idiot. There it is. All right? Of course. Dude! This dude was like, Julia can't punish this. 
Excuse me, did you not know that Julia could fucking bow an arrow and combo off of it? <laughs> I don't even know the pickup, but she could combo off of that. You know what I'm saying? What's the pickup? Anybody know? <laughs> he just, because he was just showing like while standing. He's like, Julia, I can't float this. I was like, are you sure about that? You didn't, I didn't see him test bow and arrow. You know what I'm saying? There it is, yeah. Like, the moment he posted that, I thought of, like, three different ways she could probably pick up off of this that he didn't do in that clip. And I was like, dude, you gotta understand, when you, when you have the stature that he has, people are gonna, like, just take your opinion as fact, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, when you're when you're at his level, you, when you push shit like that out there, you gotta be extra careful that you gotta make sure you're testing your shit right, you know what I'm saying? You really gotta be sure. Point being, Julia could pick it up fine. Treat it like you're picking up a slide, basically. Let me see if Marduk's headbutt is fast enough. <laughs> yeah, down forward three into, like, forward forward one and shit. Can you low pair in between blocking these? Probably. They do kind of come out fast. Uh, I'll go over the move in more detail after a bit. Let me just test picking up the full screen before I get to that. If it's like Yoshi misses, you want to just do the first two hits because they're natural. If it's like Yoshi. And she does have the mid bait attached to it. This is like, you know, this is just really me showing that you could pick up that people, yeah, see? That, um, I need more than that. She's at an odd angle, though, so I might not be able to get this. Oh, I got her. I grabbed her freaking toe for that shit. Alright. Get over here, right by the toe. So I proved that you could float that shit. Is there even a reason to not finish with the mid option on those kicks? To be honest, I don't. Other than uh, reversals, I don't think there's a reason to not finish. Uh, but okay, there is. There is one, and this goes into like how people say Yoshimitsu is a bit of a gimmick, gimmicky character. I'll get to it. Um, so one two, right? One two. You gotta press it fast. Pop pop, pop pop, pop pop. pop. Okay, you gotta press it slow. Don't press it fast. Pop out. Well, the first two hits are natural. Right, even on counter hit, though, it ends there, right? Hmm. <clears throat> but here's the thing. The first two hits are natural. You recover and crouch. But you're minus seven on hit when you do this. This is where the mid comes in, because you notice how the mid is not instant. If there's a little delay, the reason it's like that is you want the, you want that delay there on top of it still it's still being a trap. So you could force your full cross mix up. You need that delay there. The unfortunate reality is when people kind of already know this, they could program that. Oh, she's minus seven. Let me throw out a 15 frame counter hit just real quick. You know, uh, that's just, that's just the unfortunate reality. But at the very least, that's why the mid is safe and it knocks down a normal hit. This is especially nasty at the wall. And that's when we start to get to, like, what kind of shit happens when she hits this at the wall, right? Like, does she get any sort of unique situation here that she doesn't get in mid-stage? I don't know, you know? But yeah, um... That's the actual reason that the mid, that, that you don't want to always end with the mid. And then the same goes for, like, more hits. Two, three. One, two, three. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? And then you can just block sometimes too. They'll hesitate to punish it. So it's basically a lot of shenanigans going on. But, you know, the reason you don't see Yoshi Fish do this shit a lot is because it's a shitty shenanigan. It's like, it, there's a mix up there, but it, the risk reward is not in your favor. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers here. That's a. That's a. Yeah, that's a proper high crushing low. 
and the first two hits are, uh, you know, natural. Thing is, if you just stop at the first two hits, she's minus 19. On block. Nagi, did you miss what I said earlier? You're gonna mash out hot kick, yes, but what makes it an actual mix-up, even if it's a shitty one, is the mid. See? You have the lane that comes out, so you're gonna be like, oh, she stopped, and you're gonna get hit. Even here, she's like, oh, she stopped, you're gonna get hit. And she could just stop herself and block your hop kick. So my suggestion is, if you have a 15 frame counter hit that's safe on block, um, never mind, you won't be standing. If you have a while standing counter hit tool, which a lot of characters do have, that is safe on block, that's a pretty good situation to use it. And to be honest with you, <clears throat> even if she hits you, then if you have a, a, a standing 15 frame that's safe on block, if she hits you with the first two lows, just fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? Right? If she, she stops at the first two hits, she's gonna hit you. But if she tries to force any sort of bullshit... Right? Like that shit. See how slow that comes out? Right? Just make the read. Make the read. If she's, if she's hitting you with these lows, make the read. I'm gonna fucking mash a 15 frame counter hit. Boom. Even though I ate the first two lows or whatever. Just make the read. Press the button. Don't like hesitate and just watch her. If you just watch her, that's when you start falling for shit like that. Ooh. And it's like, that's not really fucked up because it's a shitty mix up. <laughs> It's not fucked up, it's a shitty mix-up. What's fucked up about that? It's still a bad mix-up. I'm telling you how to not fall for it as much. I'd rather eat that mid all day long, you know what I'm saying, than like let her get a mix-up out of that. You know, 15 damage knockdown. It's only truly scary when your back is to the wall. And that's probably when you should be seeing this more. Like if I were a Quinny Mitsu player, that's when I would consider using this a little more. Outside of that though, I don't know. How do you do her counter? Either from crouching. Right. Interesting. Slow, slow input. But the gap is straight. You might not be able to reverse this if she hits you. Definitely not. Yeah, but if she, uh, if you block it. You cannot low parry the second low if you block the first one. You have to low parry the first one. Which makes you think you might not be able to low parry the third or the fourth one either. Yep. And not. As a matter of fact, it jails. You could just mash out your while standing punish. And her only way to stop you here is if she does the mid kick. If you block it. Matt, and when you block this, you're jailed. So just mash out your wild standing launcher. Mashing three right now, see? Same applies to Yoshimitsu. It tracks pretty well. If the first hit doesn't catch you, the second could chase you down. No, I, you can't. It jails. Doesn't matter if you block the first, third, whatever fucking hit. It jails. 
You have to low parry the first hit if you want to stop it. So just mash out your launcher or mash out a reversal if you want. <laughs> if you want to read the mid. Unless it's a chicken, you know. Chicken above reversal. Which is also. All right. But anyway, yeah, you probably already knew this if you looked up Yoshimitsu stuff. Same rules apply. So here's her actual low poke. Plus eight on counter hit. It's got that uh, old school dragon all shit to it, where she they go down on one knee like that on counter hit, and on regular hit they just kind of stand there. That is a shitty low poke. <laughs> Eleven damage, seventeen frames. Ugh. Ugh. It's the only one she has. No, it's not. Never forget the goat. The goat, man. There you go. This is her actual best low poke from standing. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is put yourself at plus four. And they can't crush this, baby. They can low parry, but they can't crush it. <laughs> I love down four on all characters, but that move is busted. How good is down three? I went over down three earlier. Down three is her string. It's the one that you were telling me is only for juggles. <laughs> I, I went over this already. Down three by his ass. Ass. Ass, ass, ass. It's lost punishable. What is that? Or minus 14. Minus 14. That's just trash. Right? Down 40 on the head. Minus 13. 12 frames, baby. Generic 12. Down back 4. 12 frames. See? Solid. Now the question is does it track? And most low pokes do. Can never be too sure. Can never be too sure, right? And she's standing too, that sucks. At least Marta got his 12 frame high. <laughs> so Marta could actually punish this shit well. <laughs> what a stupid buff. Man, really good tracking on this. Maybe they could walk around it. Yep. But as far as stepping goes, they gotta hold that shit. Ooh, no, man, oof. Both sides. As far as stepping goes, they gotta hold that shit. No choice in the map. Damn, the stock for the PS5 never went up. How disappointing. She's barely even trying, right? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Does it even hit grounded? This shit gotta hit grounded, right? Oh my god. And when she goes for Oki, it's like all mids. Oops, all mids. <laughs> Alright, well, she got down three for Oki. There you go. We found a use for down three by itself. Uh, Naranagi, you could get her on the queue using a U block script. You got, well, not even a script. Well, it is a script, but you gotta, there's a website you can block to get her on the queue. If you don't have that, there's uh, you could uh, refresh. And then cancel your load, and you'll skip the queue. The queue is only there for if a lot of people hammer the site. It's not specifically for the PS5. This is the thing they have in place. I mean, I guess it was made for the PS5. It worked well on day one, but day two yesterday, I got fucking screwed over so hard. That site... That site sucks. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, my suggestion is this is your one and only low poke, and it tracks step pretty well. So for those people that sidestep into buttons a lot, throw this out and look for that animation. What does suck though is you're spaced out. You like being spaced out when you're the one that's minus eight or seven. But when you're the one that's plus eight, what are you gonna fucking threaten with from back here? Another one and they can back dash. <laughs> what the hell are you supposed to threaten with from back here? I'm all ears. <laughs> Another one and then they get away and then you get launched, right? <laughs> Is there anything that puts a full crouch to easily access full crouch down forward three? 
Um, stance stuff. Stance cancels uh, certain strings. For example, the run, the forward three run, you duck. You can hold down a duck, right? My suggestion is get good at instant full crouch. That's a thing you could kind of do. And it's not really instant like a slide is, but you want to get good at full crouch and doing that shit as fast as possible. That's like a Julia tactic too. So if you Julia players, if you use her, you should already be used to doing this. That's a good thing because it's like the only way you could force this shit in a neutral, right? Outside of that, she has dumb gimmicky stuff like down forward three two. You hold down to cancel it. I don't. I'm not a believer in this. You'll you'll get away with it for now, and you will continue to get away with it on bad players. In the long run, this is not a good move. Even on hit, she's like uh, minus. The, the, that big ass gap is there, and she's still minus, so she's not threatening you with anything really. Um, uh, is there any move I'm forgetting about? Yeah, well, like, what recovers crouching for her on plus? I caught it earlier, I forgot it. That's probably something I should remember if I saw it. I feel like I would remember it if I saw it. She has like force crouch stuff, but putting herself into crouch at plus frames. Like even if she hits that and goes crouch out of the stance, she's not plus, I think. Right? See? I beat out while standing uh, uh, four there. There's a sword move that flips over. Yeah, four, four, two does this. Um, she has no shortage of moves to go into back turn though, and uh, the what the big one is two, uh, two, uh, four, two. Sorry, and that's her uh, twelve frame Punisher, twelve frame Punisher. That's thirty damage, which is nice, and you could actually force a mix up because you're plus six. So this is going to be a very important move for your Kuni players, in my opinion. Right? If, if if you need something fast, unfortunately, you cannot do it from sidestep because it's overlap. But she could do sidestep too, which I haven't gotten to yet, to, and hold back to go back turn plus six again. Nah, DF on plus two is trash. <laughs> that move sucks. What's up, have a nice day. How's it going? Hey, you might know. Uh, did you practice with this character enough to know? Does she have a a move to go into crouch that's plus? I think I if she has one, I might have forgotten. I don't think I saw one though. He has back turn stuff to go into crouch, but um. Oh, this has this has some high crush to it, by the way, which makes this string even better. It's like in the middle of it. You see, it changes from standing to crouching. I missed that earlier. Okay, no, it's that I'm inputting it poorly. Okay, there's, there's no crouching. It's that I'm inputting down back into... I'm not inputting them at the same time. There it is. But there's no high crusher. Not on block, no, no, plus, plus. Plus, I am talking about plus. Going from standing to crouching with plus frames. Because I ain't see one. If I did, I forgot it. No, but it knocks down. Like, there's no mix. Like, I mean, there is a mix up she gets up, but if it knocks down, you can just force, you can go to crouch. You don't need to be recovering and crouch. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss something. If I did, I'm sorry. But. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you could ever get for uh, recovering crouch with plus frames. Oh, there you go. One move. It's a low. This is her low poke. <laughs> this 35 frame reactable jumping low. Not really. It's not a, not a great low poke. There's one option. All right, take it easy, dude.
All right. Anyway. But yeah, down back four. A little poke. This is, uh, you got a bit of a back swing blow thing going on here. Wall bounce. This is her wall bounce. And it's minus 14. You see a reasonable wall bounce. Why are so many wall bounces safe on block mids? Somebody tell me. Right? Even the ones that are evasive and shit. Safe on block, dude. With mad range. This shit has a little bit of backswing blow property going on in his mid. Has good range, but it's minus 14 on block. Why can't more wall bounces be this reasonable? It's also Mega Lanier from the, from the max range. <laughs> now I'm back too is really good. What's up, Dig Dug? I do as fast as possible to see if it's a pickup. Anyway, pretty linear. Minus 14 on block. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I didn't think so. This is one of those where if you're a little slow, there it is. If you're a little bit slow with your retaliation, she's going to get around it. Even though she's like minus nine. Slap you silly. You've played Yoshimitsu, you know this. Pretty sure hers is no different. Five, huh? You definitely don't want to while standing into the move like this. The gap between hits is too small, see? So just do something from, even if it's just a generic low, just full crouch, you know? <laughs> Her hawk kick range is very good, yes. Honestly, if you do this up to three hits, it's natural. And she's, even if they block it, she's plus. Plus five, so. Uh, but slap you silly is kind of whatever. <laughs> this is uh, her uh, fast little, not even that fast, but it's an armor move that's also a, a corkscrew and homing. No counter properties, but if she hits you out of the air, she's going to, of course, screw you. And it's minus 13. Not plus four, Huarang. Plus four high. <laughs> that has zero whiff recovery. Uh, and it's not a normal Hijogo starter, but hey, what do I know? This move is dumb. You silly shit. We can punish this shit. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, 
wants to. Anyway, um, you probably won't be able to punish this with, like most characters. It is natural. You float her if you hit her out of it. That's a Volvo looking move, yeah. Pretty much is the same kind of animation. It's a pretty silly ass move. Pretty sure it's Lanier. Wow, if you step and it hits you the, the second hit whiff? Brutal. This move sucks. Just expect if you whiff punishes that it's a high chance you're gonna float her. Don't expect that to happen. Okay. It, 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 at the wall, the second hit would probably be guaranteed if they stayed down after you like your wall combo, right? I... Yeah, like that. And that's good damage. That might be the only use for this fucking move. If they stay down and you read it, but here's the problem. This shit is so slow that if they tech, I have to assume that you're going to eat a launcher. <laughs> She's going to take all day to recover from it. And uh, to delay the second hit. I don't know if you could delay it enough to react if they tech. She recovers way too slow for that combo. I don't know what's a good combo to try this on. Oh, that's a spike. That's a spike. But they gotta hold back, so that's not a good example. So anyway. That works. Nah. It'll catch people if they tack, I guess, the second hit, but that's some goofy ass gimmick. Plus their back is to the wall, so I don't think you're gonna create as much space. Oh, there it is, okay. That recovery's fucking weird. 55 damage. I can't think of any reason why you don't want to do that. You're still going to be facing them, except you're going to be back here. Instead of up close, we could actually threaten them at the wall. But I can't think of any reason why you don't want to do that. Whatever. The only use I see of this move is at the wall, that's for sure. How is Kuni Mitsu? She has... Uh, what's up, Bam? She has no lows. <laughs> you got no lows in the neutral. That's the uh, short and long of it, really. Her back dash is broken right now. I'm sure they'll fix that. And... Um... That's what I'm forgetting. Her sidestep left to her left seems really good. Her sidestep right seems kind of whatever. Kind of average. But her sidestep left seems better than most. She's getting around stuff that other characters will have trouble getting around. Um, they'll test that stuff, you know. If you're going to play this character, test matchups that, like, have uh, problem moves that you usually can't go left against. You know, like, Marduk's down forward one. 
and uh, test it with her, and she might be able to get around it. If you're going to main this character or you're going to play her, I suggest that. That's a good knowledge to have in the long run. Uh, plus one I have yet to really find a good way to go into full crouch with plus frames, even on hit. We haven't gone over the, the jumping low yet, but that's about it that I found so far. But 4-2 to go back turn with uh, plus 6 is pretty good because that's the, one of the few times she can actually threaten you with a uh, mix-up. And a lot of mix-ups. She has a uh, throw mix-up where you have to guess 50-50 between 1 plus 2 or generic 1 or 2 break. And uh, do, 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 what else? Uh, she has generic low. And then if you want to get crazy, she has this stupid looking low right here. The mix-up with all her mids from back turn. So, her mix-up threat is going to be off of going back turn a lot. But unfortunately, a lot of the, the ways to go into back turn suck on block. And in some cases, they suck on hit too. You know? Shit like that, you know? The gap is there. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. The general consensus, uh, I don't know about that either. I just know her back dash is still. Does she have the spinning Yoshi kicks move? She does. I went over it already. It's kind of whatever. And then she has this down back four, which on counter hit is plus eight. You gotta look for the animation, but she's very far away. Um, outside of that, she has down three, four, two, which is a counter hit. All of it combos on counter hit. Oh, down three four down three four one. There it is. It all combos on counter hit. And it starts up at 16 frames. But if they duck the high, you're gonna get slaughtered. And uh, you at least need to do the high to try to confirm the counter hit if you call the button. Yeah, her back turn transitions are pretty trash. Honestly, 4-2 on block isn't the worst thing. He has a back turn counter. Three plus four. The counter is kind of ass too, though. <laughs> and it doesn't work against lows or knees, or elbows, all that shit. All right. So here we got back four, which is mega slow. It does put her back turn at plus six. Oof. And if you want to try to force it on block, your the threat is that second hit, which is counter hit, sure, but it is horrendous on block. At least it's natural. Um, this does hit grounded. Which is not the worst thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But honestly, I would... My dog, see, this is why I got... This is why I got annoyed when he's knocked on my door before. Because now my dog wants to get in. He's going to be... You might hear it in the background. He's going to be scratching at my door now. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, Gizmo, stop. Stop. Gizmo! Relax. Okay. Anyway, uh, he'll start scratching my door soon enough. So, I was... I would suggest if you're gonna go mid, maybe just do this. The only problem with this move is if they tech. This is the case with a lot of these moves that flip off the floor. If they tech, you're gonna whiff it, and it's gonna be real bad news for you. Guess what's supposed to learn about Kuni Mitsu? <laughs> He generally leaves me alone, but then with someone, this is why I always tell these people out there, I'm like, yo, don't knock on my door for a while. I already know whatever the fuck I gotta do later. And then still, like, elderly people have bad memory, and they don't remember when they tell you things. I'll put it that way. Anyway, um, this is one of those uh, instances where, like, a lot of these moves, if they tech. And you try to go for it because you have to go for this instantly as a call out kind of and if they end up teching and you whiff it you're gonna get launched 
That's the problem with this move. It is also minus 10, so it's not safe. Right? But here, you at least, you know, you can run up and it hits grounded, and they're far away. So if they end up teching, uh, and you whiff, you have at least the bait of a counter hit on a second hit. But that may be the reason why you might want to go for this move. You know, but even that is not so great. Maybe at the wall it's better. But then it's like, bam. He is going crazy on my door. You guys hear that shit? <laughs> he is going crazy on my door. I can't ignore it. He's gonna keep going crazy. I'll be right back. Fucker. Killing my flow over here. You're gonna say hi to the people, viewer. Say hi to everybody. He doesn't like it when I pick him up, but he wants the attention. Say hi to everybody. It's Gizmo. He was very excited, and he's very excitable. I think he thinks, because I'm talking to you guys, that I have company, and he wants to come say hi. Nah, I don't. you talking because I'm Latino? You expecting me to have a pit bull? That how it is? He's a Shih Tzu, and he even for a Shih Tzu he's small, but right now he's pretty fat. Pretty fat, you know. He doesn't like when I, when anybody picks him up, but right now he doesn't like this. Uh, but he loves attention. He just doesn't want you picking him up. That's all. Out here, you. Know. My hands are dirty. I touched you. <laughs> anyway. Yes, it's one of the most generic pet names, right, Gizmo? People name their dogs and cats Gizmo all the time. Uh, my sister named them. You know, he has the white and brown colors. Getting hot. Turn the air conditioner. Get back to it. Relax, all right? We're also rudely interrupted. Uh, I was thinking maybe if you want to call out people staying down here, then you can start throwing out like shit here. But I don't think in this situation this is particularly worth it either. There's another problem I just discovered. If you go for this low, the way it hits means they could tech after the first hit, and then the second it could be blocked or whiff. So your mix-up game here is kind of whack. If they stay down. If you hit with this like this and you stay, they stay down. Even there, it didn't combo. It's not like this, it's not like this that combos. So, yeah. This is kind of gimmicky. I'm not a fan of this. I'm sure a lot of people will make use of it with to some success, but just I'm not a fan of all the risk involved in this. The only use here is if you want to go super high risk and bait that counter hit. And I don't even know what the combo is, but there's got to be something. Right. Maybe there's nothing. Maybe there's nothing. I don't know. I'm far away, though. Because I'm trying to get the counter hit. What? Set two, right? Ah. Uh, maybe there's not even... If there was a counter hit there for a combo here, we'd have something. I don't know if we have anything here. And for the launch risk... That's, that's pretty bad. The low. What's the low? Set four. No, this is set low, isn't it? Or is that only off of this? Try to go to stance and do it quickly. Yeah, nah.
She don't got shit. Yeah, they used to have a lot of pushback in tag too. It does the same like. It's weird because it does a very high knockback. It makes you think that there's something there. Maybe the cool night throw, but that sucks. That sucks. She needs to get more than that for this to be worth anything. Well, somebody figures something out and there's an actual combo out of that, then there may be some merit. Not much. Outside of that, minus eight back turn is not good. It is natural. Cycle of rebirth. Oh, don't hold back. You get up, that's what happens. If you don't get up... Let me go over this again. Oh, that's a fucking good position. So here's the thing, there's two things here. If you're the Kuni player, you have to understand there's risk here when you want to do this. This is gonna catch people holding back, obviously, right? Not even, shit, not even holding back, sorry. Um, is that too slow? Let me make sure. Okay, never mind. This does work on people that stay down the first hit. Here's the problem. Anytime you use that uh, Crouch Dash 2 or Dragon Punch 2, whatever you want to call it, on Oki, the first hit is going to hit grounded, but because it hits, she's going to do the second hit. Which means she's always going to be unsafe. So, especially in that position, you're going to eat whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And if they tech, it seems to generally be, after the first hit, if they tech, it seems to generally be, like, around minus 14. I gotta go the other way, maybe? Okay, not off of this knockdown, though. No. Off of this positioning, you gotta get up like that. So just go for forward forward too. This might not even be guaranteed because you could actually block pretty fast from that position. Gotta do as fast as possible. I don't think it's guaranteed. Got it. I can't even... I'm getting forward too when I'm doing it too early. Otherwise, they're blocking it. So what is guaranteed here? There you go. Yep. Rage Drive? Uh, I haven't gone with Rage Drive yet. Is that hit grounded? Why would that work? Oh! <laughs> that was from that long ago? Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Perhaps you don't look at the chat for a while. Yep, you're right. That's still shitty. 
To be honest with you, that's still pretty shitty. Like, you're gonna take that risk when you're in rage drive st status to get, like, even in, even when you have as much health as possible while still having rage, you're dead the moment that gets blocked. All for just landing that rage drive and nothing more, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's an option worth knowing, though. They're looking out, but I don't think that makes it any good. Nah, nah, it's my fault. I, uh, too timid. Thanks for sharing. You're, you're right. That does work. I, I didn't think to think it. But look at that. I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. At all. But you're gonna see it. You know you're gonna see it. So it's good that you know this. You're right, buddy. You're right. Man, he's so nervous for some reason. He just wants attention. He's probably like, who the hell are you talking to? There's nobody in here. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking. Uh, so this is minus 11 with uh, pretty good pushback. I think most characters will reach you though. I see. Get that hitbox out, everybody. Come on. Oh! I did the thing! I did the thing! I did the thing! He's high. He's high. He's high. I did the thing. Oh, get back up here. Get back up here. I did the thing, Papa. Come on. Oh, now he's ignoring me. You see? I can't get him being cute on camera. I can only get him being annoyed. Damn it. <sighs> So yeah, um, this move seems alright. Maybe you get some unique shit at the wall. Maybe that's when you get all. Nah, you can't get the DP shit, right? Ugh, don't do that there. Oh, my floor is a mess. See, now if she were able to get that whole string on you at the wall, if she landed that, that would be sick. But she can't. Not fast enough to pick up. So, that's just how it is, man. So, this is just a way to go to back turn in, in neutral, Wadong style. You create way too much space, but you can still catch people with this. That has good range. All right, back turn strings. Here we go. That looks like not that. Oh, there it is. It's that ender, right? Minus eleven. Okay, yeah, so we're going into the same options, the same string enders. This is mainly, uh, so that string is pretty much only for juggle filler, filler I think, because it's core screw. No matter which way you are, which way you land it, it's core screw. So, uh... This by itself is something I've been seeing a lot. This is where I want to test it off of, really. Might have saved for the first two hits. The first two hits are natural. And they hit if she punishes and goes into that. Ooh, never mind. Okay, remember what I said about her own sidestep left. Her sidestep left is actually very good. This doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it won't track other people. Uh, for a change of scenery. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. Uh... Man, I don't even know who has like an average sidestep anymore. I feel like 
It's either, oh, a little bit above what used to be average, a little bit below what used to be average. Like, who the hell is average anymore? It seems like everybody's all over the place, man. No, there's no consistency. One character will random, even though they're skinny, they'll randomly not be able to sidestep, like, a specific situation that everybody else, even big characters can. It's kind of nonsense, you know what I'm saying? And if she could at least go into back turn off of one two with plus frames. But even on hit, one two into into back turn is minus, right? So it's like do the one two two. Right. <clears throat> What's the move I was trying to? Back turn one, okay, four one, it's a back turn one two. Four two, rather, sorry. Hits you. Oh, okay. Okay, that seems to be where we're at. Step guard left, that's what we got so far. And you could sidewalk left. Okay. Unless Anna has like an OD side step left, and I ain't know. And the second hit is, um, second hit is high mid, and it's safe. So this is actually a very solid option to keep her covered. It is 15, so forcing it off of this on block is not the best. So. Oh, this is... <laughs> Yo, I was looking at that move list for mad long and I was very confused. I was like, what? Chaos Judgment? What the fuck? Um, sorry about that. Right, I just wanted to be sure. So, I want to keep using Anna, though. <laughs> I'm starting to lose it, guys. It's all right. Alright, one two two. We already know it's gonna be the same as one one two, which means minus nine. <laughs> so here's the thing, here's how you shortcut learning these moves. Right? The only difference between that and um that is the first two hits. So we already went over that you could sidestep left the first hit and then the second hit will follow you. But so far where we got step guard left. Right? The string is the same, same concept, right? right. The third hit into the last hit is, is natural. Uh, so, sorry, second hit counter hit into the last hit is natural. Natural encounter. And Kowal splash you and it's still minus nine. Silly, right? And then we got one, two, four from back turn. Once again, that's plus on block, right? Plus on block, and then you can definitely get around the last hit. Even if it hit me, look at that. Knocks down a normal hit. See, plus three. Let me see something. Hit me, and then I have to guess. But if you, if you block, well, you do have to guess. The mids will catch you. Left guard, I guess. So yeah, it's the same as the one-one follow-ups. Refer to that. Back turn one three. This is different. This goes into the run, right? Yep. 
Yeah, plus six instead of plus seven, like forward four. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. You have to chase her down on the run, but still. What is that on block? Minus one instead of zero, so it's like forward four, but one frame worse and natural off of that high. Okay, we already went over that. Uh, two, three, back turn. That looks like forward two, three. Oh, wow, that hit me even like. Yeah, that's so fast that you can't even. If you start to step, it's gonna hit you. But you gotta hold this shit. This, you gotta keep still for. You block it though, you can still sidewalk. Which is good. Sidewalk left is still killing the gimmick here. Turn three. Oh, that's the Yoshi Mitsu. Oh, that's minus three. This shit has a tendency to go over mids. Like, like certain mids. But it's not really happening for her. Obviously, it's gonna go over those. She recovers back turn. Is there a way to cover facing? I don't know what you would get guaranteed here. That's a bad idea, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, she's too far to really do anything about that second hit. That's really what you're gonna wanna do, right? Stabbed right in the top of the head. Imagine how that feels. Oh, what are you doing? Yep, still linear. Hello. Screw it. That's not the low. Oh, this is fast. Oh, okay. Oh, she got two highs here. That's only minus three, and it spaces her out really well. So it seems like her only way to chase down the step so far is for her to go high here. So far. So that back turn kick knocked down, she definitely is going to get a, a, a follow-up, if not a full combo. I don't think she's going to get a full combo here. And it spins on normal hit. Yeah, 
Don't do that. I already went over that before. With a similar knockdown, even. Let's do the forward forward two on that. There may be some unique setups to hit people holding back, but the problem is her only thing that hits people holding back on top of hitting rounded, as far as I can tell, is this. That's still a launcher. You know, uh, but they have to hold back to actually get launched. If they stay down, you're going to get punished. So it's better to just go for this. Unless there's some very specific setup that actual Kuni players could come up with. That's how I feel about that at the moment. Ah. This has got this looks like it should track. Hey. I was gonna say, if it was just highs that chased us down, even if they're fast. Oh, minus two? Okay, I see the problem with it. Oh no, never mind. I thought it was 19. It's 14. That's a good option. Minus two, man. That's that's really good. Her back turn stuff is really good. Ah, eh, well. Oh, you want to leave now? He wants to leave now. You want to leave now? Oh no, you in here, Papa? Hey, sit, sit, sit. Oh, don't walk to me. Sit. Good boy. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you're still pretty close, but minus two is really good. Uh, the only problem with her back turn stuff is her low, her her higher damage low is, I think it's mega risky, and it's kind of whatever. It needs a counter hit, I think, to do anything, if I recall right. We'll get there. But her low options aren't super strong, but it's better than fucking neutral lows. Oh, she could... Forward. And that's gonna be unsafe, right? Minus 12, okay. Not gonna stop me from stepping. At the end of the day, stepping without pressing any buttons, at worst you risk getting knocked down by back turn 2 3, which is high high. And then the homie move if your back is to ooh, the homie move if your back is to the wall, the homie move is gonna wall splash. That's about it. Because it spins. That's about it. Go far. Minus, uh, minus 12 on this fast mid. 16 frame mid. The stabby stabby. Back towards enemy. Now, if you block the 4 2, you could probably step the 2. Back turn 2. Okay. But if he hits, you get hit. If you even try to step, she's gonna hit you. That's only plus three. I know on counter hit, this is a juggle starter. You can pick up a crouch dash too, I believe. Yeah. Only minus 13. Wow, you can't see JM it. Oh, 
Oh, she's in crouching? Who does recover crouching? He just needs to hit. You said that earlier. I think uh, I don't think it registered when he said that to me that she actually recovers crouching. I thought I thought it was a crush when the thing said it's crouching because when I recorded the AI to do it, like here, and uh, I played it back, it didn't show her crouching for some reason. So it confused me, and I thought that meant that she crouched for a moment and it was a high crush or something. But she actually recovers crouching from that. So anyway, yeah, it's a full combo off of this on counter hit. I'm back to while standing 2-4. And then you do whatever. Yeah, so, and it tracks. And even if it doesn't track the other way, that's still, like, you run into every other move, basically. And you can't low parry it, so you can try to sidestep left duck. The highs will still hit you if you try to do this, but still. And 20 damage is not nothing. So that's, act that's the actual good low. Try to sidestep left duck and still catch the low, but it's it's a little your window is a little small here, so you might not be able to do it so much. Like you might not be able to sidestep to get around some of the mids and still catch that. So I said my suggestion may be to just sidestep left and just take the low. And if you think the low is coming, just duck it. I have a feeling that if you went for the mid. You're not going to be able to... Never mind. That's really all that I was worried about. The, you know, We're talking about risk assessment here. You don't want to get you know juggled if you do this. The wind is very tight, the window. Very tight here. Ah, oh, see? Hard to tell if you could do it and uh, get enough uh, of a sidestep to get around. I oh, see he's crashing the door to leave now. You wanna leave now, huh? You've annoyed me enough? <laughs> Alright. No, 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 don't come to me. I'll let you leave. Yeah, down back two is like the one low. But I go back to what I said earlier. Um, I thought it was worse on block, to be honest with you. The fact that it's only minus 13 is very good. I think she becomes crouching, so Marduk has to wall standing for it. So, it's, you can't low parry it. I think I was trying to CGM it with Anna, and I totally forgot that her CGM loses to like low knees, so it should lose to that anyway. Um, the CGM auto crush, the Chaos Judgment auto crush. Cat stance. So Anna has to hold that shit. <laughs> um, and it chases the weak side of that mix-up on hits. Going going from 12 frames to that mix-up on hit. If you try to go into that back turn mix-up without plus frames, then a lot of it is gonna lose out. Is Cooney Lero 2.0 or are we safe? I don't know if you're safe because her back dash is broken. The thing is she don't got no lows, man. She got no lows. She has to go into back turn or full crouch to have lows. Yeah, once they fix her, she's gonna be kind of like middling, I think. Just like before. It's just like Tag 2. When they first added her in Tag 2, first of all, when they first added her, in all the Tag 2, this was a juggle starter, right? I'm pretty sure that I'm right about that. I think she did a full pickup off of this in Tag 2, right? First of all, right? 
Second of all, in tag two, this, just doing that, ducked a shitload of mids. She would just duck, and then mids would go right through her. <laughs> I wish I could find the old video somebody made about it. It was a little funny little video. And the dude made like a comparison, like he used Ling Zayu, who's also small, and he was like, look, she ducks and she gets hit. Yeah, her regular crops was just ducking mids in tag two. So she, <laughs> they fixed her mad quick in tag two. And here we are again, right? We went from Fakumram having like no hurt box on his legs for some reason to Kunimitsu having no hurt box on her face. I fought this character so many times where I would like jab her one two and then it would just boof, boof, right in front of her, like not even right in front of her face. The one would go through her head and then she's like back dashing and then the two would whiff. It's, it is freaking absurd to say the least, right? And to give you guys another example, of how dumb her backdash is. Never mind the you, if you saw what was it, Bin Chang? Was it Bing Chang that shared the, the, the tool assisted? It was a tool assisted backdash cancel where she was like as fast as possible going like just gliding on the floor. Right? That's just to show maximum potential. Even if you have a fucking shitty backdash cancel like I do breaking in this new controller right now. This is my last controller broke on me a few days ago, mid match. Um my backdash cancel canceling right now is shitty, and look how good it still looks. Look how much space, how fast, right? And if you want an example of this, I showed it earlier. Two two on block is minus five, minus six. Look at the spacing. It's not even that much spacing, right? You go two two, and then you backdash. You have to have a poke with a shitload of range to test this. Anna luckily has. She has fast poking. But anything that attacks her upper body, she's fucking out of there, bro. Especially if you block this even remotely shallow. Even if you block the remotely shallow, right? So what this tells me is anything with any sort of pushback, like significant pushback, even though she's like minus six or whatever, she's out of there. And that's because of her backdash. Nah, Master Raven's backdash, what's happening with her is her default stance, she's hugging herself. So she doesn't have no hurt box sticking out. That's as intended, right? She has her stupid left arm sticking out. She just backdashes insanely fast. I don't, I don't believe that was intentional. I refuse to believe that, that was intentional. If it is, then they're fucking crazy. Because this shit that just clips through her freaking face, it's crazy. It makes no sense. You know? Let's see if this happens to her like Marduk. That's not for her. Yeah, see, Marduk's jabs go over her head when she lands. He does that to Noctis too, though, so it's not a big deal. And it's like minus 13, so you should be. Yeah, anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so, what I was looking at before is 4-2, um, her 12 frame punish basically, leaves her back turn at plus 6. So I was going through her options. Here's where I'm at. The thing that beats most of her options here, if you get hit, the thing that beats most of her options is if you sidestep left. You could make a lot of things whiff, but she still has a lot of options high, mid, and low to chase you. So, if she hits you with 4-2, you kind of have to hold that shit unless you see certain weird options. My suggestion is if you start to see, like, they do 4-2 and they force this mid right there, sidestep that shit. It is minus 12 on block if you just kind of stand and take it. But as far as what chases you, this chases you, 1 plus 2, and it's a minus 2 on block. Down back two, that low chases you. It's minus 13 on block, you cannot low parry it. And Anna specifically cannot go into stance to auto crush it. Because it's a blade. <clears throat> if she hits you, the, uh, back turn two, three, which is kind of like forward two, forward two, three, except one frame faster. She's two plus, so the moment you even attempt to sidestep, it's gonna hit you, right? And then, Back turn uh, four is a high homing kick. 
With with counter hit knockdown properties and on normal hit you spin out. So it can wall splash you. So all that stuff so far chases you. That's where we're at. And also uh, her back turn down to oh it's not even down back to, it's just down to. Her back turn down to is uh counter hit juggle starter. As well. Alright, we got this right here. Back turn down four. This is the other low. This low is kind of goofy. So, minus 14. And if you if you're Anna and you have a shitty punish, you can do that. She can't, she's forced to do both hits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't low crush. Have the low pair. Yeah, that low is goofy as hell, and um. But even if you could step it, right? It's like, and that does whiff like that. Everything else she does tracks right too. Tracks you going right too, so it's like it's not worth doing, even though that punishes her like that. I suppose you could try. But that chases you down still. If that whiffed you going right, then I'd say, hey, every once in a while, go right. But I don't know. Um, also, this is dangerous, and that might track right. Let's see. Exactly. Yeah. I would never go right. If you get hit by this, I would never go right. I would always, if I'm going to step, I'm going to go left, or I'm going to duck. I'm gonna guess and stand block or duck block. That's it. Let's try to get a read on how they mix you up if you see this or if you're the Cooney player. Now you know your options. Based on how they they, they they defend, you know what I'm saying? Either way it goes, I think this is where her mix up shine from back turn and from full cross to an extent, obviously. But her neutral mix on game is ass. Even though she has a lot of really good strings, a lot of really good strings in a neutral, her actual, like, the fact that she's lacking lows, it becomes weird. Anyway, here we go. We have a back turn throw mix up. Like, legit. Right? Which further augments her mix up game here. Right? So you got. See, that's a one plus two break, legit, right? So what this means is, I don't know if you, you guys probably know this by now, but in case you don't, folks, you don't know. Back turn in Tekken, if you do your generic throw, it looks like a one plus two break, but you still have to press one or two. This was even better in older Tekken games because you then you have to guess between three breaks instead of just two. But because she has a one plus two break, legit, from back turn, which is one plus four or uh, two plus three, you get a 50-50 break. So that's a command grab for back turn. And then of course she could just do her um, her generic throws. But once again, pa pa, grab. So now I wanna see if you could step these, this throw game. If you can't, when she hits you, that makes her mix the game even better. Oh, can't even start to step. See that shit? Obviously, if you block it, you could definitely step it. See? You can go right. But it chases left. You could go right against her throw game. At that point, you're still going toward her, her. Um, you're still going toward her mid launcher. So 
I suppose you can kind of step guard if you see a lot of throwing going on here. Step guard right. So there's a reason. Let's see if you can step guard right. Nah. It's too fast. The mid throw is too fast. Okay, it might be there, but the window is tight. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if there's a real window there. I don't know. So yeah. Am I stoned or is Anna's DF2 15 frames now? You're not stoned. They buffed it. I haven't looked at Anna changes. That's a big buff for her, too. Her wall setting one is still ass, right? Yep. <laughs> I think it also has better tracking or something. I think I remember seeing that. I always find that weird that they gave Marduk a 15 frame launcher, but he didn't give Anna 15 frames. Very strange. Welcome to the 15 frame club, Anna. Further homogenize the game. Yes. Until everybody plays the same and has the same tools. Just keep fucking doing it. That's where we're going. Oh, shit. Capture card said, fuck you. Uh-oh. Monitor is entering power save mode. Right, so we were on her back turn stuff. This is way louder for me. Is it louder for you guys? Let me know if the volume levels are alright. Okay, yeah, we went over her back turn grabs. Yeah, okay. So we went over her back turn grabs, right? Huh. <clears throat> And as have a nice day mentioned, we have generic low, which for her is down three from back turn, right? And this is gonna catch any sort of step because it's way too, oh, I'm used to pressing the fucking touchpad on PS. Um, this is gonna catch any step in any direction, no matter what, right? She's so plus that there's no crush threat here from, I think, anyone. She's plus six, and it's 10 frames. If I'm not mistaken, the fastest crush, low crush, is uh, five frames. Maybe Asuka, but I don't think so. Uh, so pretty much, it's just block or low parry, and it's only minus 11 on block, so. Low parry, if, you see, if you're fighting against this character, and you see a lot of that, low parry. Low parry and then low parry to low crop to, to, to low block. Don't come don't fully come into low parry. Because the other thing is slow enough that you should be able to OS this. I think. Yeah, you could definitely that's the problem with having an option that's an option that, that could be low parry that is super fast. That's the that's the problem here, right? So if you're gonna go low, low parry to the to down back. You're gonna block low. You have to hold the low parry a little longer than you would think, but the gap is big. It's a fucking nine frame gap, or is that seventeen? Seven frame gap here, you know what I'm saying? Six really, but no seven, what am I saying? Yeah, classic. Uh, does jumping low crush faster than five frames? Jumping low? Oh, you mean this? Wait, sorry. This? Uh, how do you do it again? That? I doubt it. I'll try, but I doubt it. I'd be shocked. Yeah, nah. I don't know what frame it crushes on, but it ain't no. It ain't. It ain't enough for this. I'll give you an example. Marta, uh, Devil Jin's up 4-4. Four, four. I think that's frame 6. Marta up 4-3-4, up four, plus 4-3-4, four, up, four, or up the jumping stomp. I believe that's 5. 5 or 6. Asuka's Can-Cans, I think, is 5 frame the low crush. Why not test it, right? Why, why speculate? Let's just test it, right? We're here. Hey. Alisa's back three plus four is, I think, six frames as well. I'll test that too. If you want to go really crazy and just go ham. Yeah, 
see? Oh, good. Like, uh, Nina also has, uh, I don't know if it's up forward three or up forward four, but one of those crushes very fast. And her one plus two, this also crushes faster, but uh, they gotta, everybody gotta hold that shit. Low parry or low block, you know? Regular jumping for most characters takes a, uh, a similar amount of frames. It's only different for like Geese and Akuma. Back turn generic low is minus 11 on block, which is why I suggest low parry to low block. Leaves him far away. Yeah. I'm thinking about if there's any real good Oki here. And it's pretty much just like run up stuff and then bait wake up kicks and spring kicks and punish. I don't think there's any like super unique Oki here. Like you could chase, she has a lot of chase down potential for shit. But. Now, when her back is to the wall like that, she might have something, but mid-stage? Nah, yeah. Okay, side roll, maybe. You know what? This is not the worst thing, considering it's only minus 11 or 10. But it does if they, they have to block it. I think... Oh, she doesn't have a normal spring kick. But I think that would hit a normal spring kick. Uh, she has the freaking big man kick up shit. Uh, this is vegan. I like how the sky is really fast to go into nighttime. This is a cool looking stage. Oh, dear. Oh, damn! Jeez, it's Ning inside. Takes his dad down. Minus 12 force crash. Yeah, see? They got no choice but to hold back and block. All you got here. Uh, depending on the matchup, minus 12 in that situation might be bad for you. In certain other matchups, like Brian, for example, you're going to eat a while standing three at the end. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All they could do is stand up and block. They can't even stand straight up. They got to hold back. So you could use that to set up your ability to run up on them, you know? Some people will just eat this shit all day and refuse to hold back, you know? But if they, if you think they're gonna hold back, then you maybe could try chasing them down with the dash mix-up, over three. But that's about as good as it's gonna get for you on Oki here. Forward, forward, two, Shinobi. This. I could see if that chases down, too, if you want. 
That's only minus 11 standing, I think. <clears throat> but it's not as fast as Core Circle Forward 2, so I don't think it's going to work here. Also, you, the input is harder to do out of recovery. You could buffer this. You can't buffer that. See, that's... Let's see. If I don't make it whiff... Okay, good. Minus 10. Yeah, you see? Yeah. No good. Oh, yeah. It could be uh, minus 10 meaty. I suppose you're right about that. But the problem with that move is it's very linear. This move comes out super fast. That's what makes it good for Oki. <clears throat> this is more damage, though, than that. A little more. But then, and this also backflips off the floor. So reset Oki, you know, that Kazuya 4 4 4, whatever, right? The trade off is this. Sometimes you might want to get Force Crouch minus 12 well, as a you know, risk. And this is good at catching side roll. So they got to hold that shit. It's not like a so caliber grounded hitting move. Like you can see Taki having this. Damn, I'm actually moving really slow through this. All right, so all right, we went over that grab. Uh, I'll look at her generic throw Oki later, but that's the command grab. Uh, how do you set this up? When she her back is to the wall, if her back is to the wall, that could change things. See, you're close to her now, so this changes everything, right? Uh, I don't think it's gonna change her options too much, maybe, but she might have something new here. But usually that changes like everything in regards to recovery, you know? Start with something simple. That's a bad option. <laughs> Let's start with something simple that sucks. We'll do 4 4 2 here again. So you can still make it whiff. I think it's still going to be Coral Circle Forward too. Yeah, I could mash that out because of the buffer. Yeah. Yeah, it's minus 12 force crouch. Force crouch. So, I guess, like, my example was Brian. Brian's gonna get while standing one, or while standing one plus two, and nothing else. Now, Marduk. Marduk will get more now. Season four buff. What's up, ninjas? Is Akuma in range to jab punish? To crouch jab. Yeah, it looks like he is. He's, like, right in his fucking face. Right in your face when you block it. See? You're like all up in there. Akuma's gonna hit you with down two. So it's also match dependent, but I think it's important to know your Oki off of this, because this is, I think, I believe in this back turn shit as a mix up. So you're gonna mix in the grab, so you should know what your situation is post command grab. You know what I'm saying?
Unlike Noctis, if this whiffs, she doesn't teleport. I would be ready to whiff punch with this. I'm going to be real with you guys. You see how fast that is? <laughs> That's quite a bit of neutral control. And the fact that even when you're downtown back here, she doesn't do her stupid, the stupid teleport. If it whips, you can just kind of like throw that shit out. Yeah, the not the not this one is annoying on a whiff because he's at an odd angle. At the very least, he's he's all up in your face no matter what, and you could swing at him. Her, she's all the way down here, and she doesn't recover as slow as that like, Kazumi does after her tiger, so or used to at least. So you know the spacing makes it weird for Noctis though. If you block this from all the way back here, this is the only time she's actually safe. See that? That's like the only time she's safe. There she's punchable. She has to be like dead ass, like all the way. This is her 14, 13 frame counter hit. Knock this up forward two style or up forward one, whatever it is. But it's a hit throw, it's a very nasty looking hit throw for her, right? Counter hit throw, right? Stabs you in the face. Pushes out. Look at that spacing. Pretty good. Yeesh. Oh, oh. I had a seven with some pushback. Make them block oh the jab. You got okay there. Lead jab. You gotta make them block this shallow if you wanna backdash a lot of stuff. Minus seven is a bit too much. Yeah, so you can't really bank on it. You might be able to get away from certain jabs. There it is, see. Got just a tip to back that setup. Counter hit. Gimmick City. Look at how slow she. I, you think she would land crouching? She doesn't. You have to wait for her to stand up. This shit is dumb. This is the kind of shit that maybe in certain wall combo situations you could use this and get their back, but she recovers so slow. I don't even fucking know. Like, if they tech to your right, and then you do this preemptively, you might land on their back. You never know. She also just recovers mecha slow. I'm not even gonna bother with that shit. Oh, look at this fucking move. Oh, jeez. Definitely a high crush, right? Oh, what the fuck is this move? This move sucks. <laughs> Doesn't even hit grounded. I have no idea what the purpose of that move is. Oh, this is her, like... 
<laughs> if I can think of one use to this, I would try this for my back is to the wall, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Wonder what frame she's airborne on. Doesn't have a delayed hop kick. Okay, 25 damage. Got it. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have like a high damage normal hit launcher outside of that, right? All right, well, there you go. Go look it out. Delay, like stagger block lows. You know, like. I don't know what the combo is, but it's a 25 damage launcher, so she could get a lot out of it, that's for sure. I mean, I've seen her get, like, mid-80s, I think, off of... I've seen her get mid-80s off of, like, that, and that's a 24 damage launcher. So, we could assume, and it's very high, so we could assume that it'll be similar here. So anyway. Yeah, I was curious if it happened to, you know, crush really fast. And but as far as I know, there's no attack off of this. And uh, you recover crouching. You can while standing out of it. An unblockable. Looks super linear. Stabbed it right in the foot. Obviously, it's mid, so. A little bit of range on that. You're gonna see this shit. You're definitely gonna be seeing this move, especially for kill. There might be some uh, traps, yeah. This is mid. There might be some traps for this. And it hits grounded. What a shocker. That takes a while. And it is only 21 damage, so the traps for this, I don't know. I don't know they're gonna be a big deal. 21 damage, no follow-ups. Like, unless that's guaranteed at the wall, maybe? Stage that the wall is guaranteed, so any traps against the wall seems pretty good to be heavenly divide. That's a cool name. Yeah, too bad that was all combo at the wall. Recovery is so weird. I can't get the four four two. Yeah, 
Nah, nah, too slow. Rather mash out of course looking forward to. Full forward to. Ah, my nose. Itchy. So there's probably some traps for that shit already out there at the wall. That definitely looks like something you could set up at the wall. Protects. I don't know if it follows anything. Any sort of like, like, how would you shorten a wall combo for this shit? No? This I don't need to report on myself until I find something that looks good and then I can test it on myself. What up, Jamie? The net code is fine. A lot of people seem to like it. You could definitely interrupt that if you hold back. You can also you can also react to it. What's her backflip combo? Does she have a wall combo that backflips them? I know. seems annoying. Mode 4 2 is annoying to do out of recovery for me. Now see, that was late. Gotta do it super fast. That was it, fuck. I don't think this is gonna follow. Let's try it. See? It's too linear. This is gonna be some shit that... Not a true tech trap. But if you catch people sleeping at the wall... Yeah. What's up, Jaws? Well, I had some issues and interruptions earlier. I'm on PC at the moment. Um, this is gonna be one of those things that you can catch people sleeping at the wall with, but setting it up as an actual like tech trap, you probably have to sacrifice a shitload of damage to do it. No? The unblockable or the or the flip, the back flip, because the unblockable just gives you guaranteed stuff. You don't even need a full crotch mix up at the wall. Like, um, the wall combo. I mean, that doesn't shock me. I was just curious if that was a good way to set up the unblockable as well. Damn, that shit is annoying. 
I've always been bad at this kind of shit. Can't be a Cooney player if you can't forward forward. Oh, you gotta hold it for a bit, but you could definitely catch them. Meaty, basically. With the 50-50 with the from Crouch. You gotta like, crouch and hold forward for a, down forward for a moment. Finger grazed the one. Yeah, see? Alright, you can definitely chase both directions if you get that much time. Alright, whatever. So we got that unblockable. You know this, this is the Yoshimitsu. combo is here. This is plus and force crouch for both of them. Uh, plus five, which I think uh, it's the same for Yoshimitsu, honestly. It pushes out a bit, though. Just a bit. Uh, probably Lanier just like Yoshi uh... Give me not. Give me not. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta sidewalk it. Oh jeez. Sidewalk it right. <laughs> Damn, the recovery's fast. There you go. It's an annoying ass move. And it like it goes over jabs too. See that? It's a very pesky move. All right, now we got the jumping low. Recovers crouch, plus eight. A legit, like, oh yeah, she could fake it just like Yoshi too. They could get gimmicky with it. Not that people should be cross jabbing here. Too far. But yeah. Counter hit jungle starter. In case you guys are wondering, the reason I generally don't do juggles anymore is because that's the first thing everybody shares on Twitter and YouTube and shit. I'm more of a move property kind of guy with this stuff. So if you want juggles, there's a lot of people that already have no shortage of that shit out there. It's not hard to find. It's like I can sort of sidewalk it to my left, but it tracks very well. All right, well, anyway, it's only minus 14. So depending on the matchup, you uh, have a low chance of getting launched. But it is reactable. The thing about lows like this for me personally is the fact that she's jumping. The last thing I'm thinking about is blocking a low. So I have trouble seeing this personally. Same thing with like Eliza's um, jumping snake edge. The fact that she hops, whatever, it makes me not see it. Because I'm thinking, oh, she's jumping, you know? I'm not thinking, oh, low, you know? Right. 
Okay, 15 frame Hopney. We wrote all this earlier, but as a whiff punish, this is really good because it has a follow-up, right? Now, both versions of this are 13 frames. And much like Julia's uh, Can-Cans, there's like... You don't... You cannot block the first hit and get hit by the second hit, I believe. Like, there's no way to set it up like that. It just messes with your block stuff, so it could be confusing to punish. As you can see, I'm, it's shells. I'm mashing. And then, you know... And it is mid-high. But here's the thing, right? If she's trying to whiff punish from downtown, she could still do the up, the four, the second kick. And that shit hits you from mad far. So if you whiff, if she tries to whiff punish you, and you whiff, and she's out of range, the second hit could still punish you. Like that. And she still gets good damage. That's 20 damage on the second hit. So this shit, this range is wild. Like her whiff punishment is actually really good. This range is like really good. Look at that. This range is really fucking good. You know what I'm saying? The crazy thing is if she whiff punishes you with the high, the damage is higher. Cause this is only 13 damage. But this shit is 20. And it's still minus 13 if you happen to just block the second hit. Mm. Too good? No, she just got released, dude. Ain't getting nerfed. Yet. They're gonna nerf. They got, I think they're gonna do something about her back dash, but they already said that her rage drive does too much damage after a floor break. It's not supposed to. So that's one thing they're gonna fix. I think they're gonna do something about her busted back dash. Her back dash is busted. Anyway, this is a very fucking good move. Point me. Of course, it's a knee, so normal reversals don't work on it. Jesus. That's the only downside to committing to the whole string, in my opinion. It's that fact that it gives people wow. It gives people more time to whip punish it if they get around you. That's about it. Or if you like way out of range, it gives more people more whip punishment time. That's the only downside to doing both hits. Yeah, mash out your 13 frame when you block it. Whatever it is. For her, it's... There it is. <laughs> it's crazy that that does more damage than her 13 frame. That is insane. Why does that do more than her 13 frame? We're getting there. All right, this move. Okay, I was wondering if this is ever guaranteed because I got picked up by this off of this move. It's not guaranteed. This is like her dragging off up forward four, it looks like. I don't know if it has any tracking. But you know, guaranteed knockdown, it's an okay. It's pretty good. Oh, that's a whiff. Is that a safe whiff? Very unsafe. Very unsafe. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, so no matter what, if she chases down with a lot of these mids on grounded opponents, like these grounded hitting mids, a lot of them, you get launched if they tech. That's the downside. By most characters, at least. Not everybody. I don't know if like 17 frames would capture or 18 in the case of Martyr. Am 
Minus seven. Already know. I won't damn it. Of course. You can do the dragon off. The wall is to her left. Nope, oh, not like that though. <laughs> Angle's weird. Yes, yeah, I just said several mids hit grounded for her, but they're not like tracking mids, so she has to hold that shit if they get up. Outside of guarantee situations. Probably sidewalk that. Yeah. Not quite dragging off a 4 4, but. As expected, you want to go right against this move. It's a little, yeah, it's, it's a bit too much on the slow side. And it's a little stubby looking. And knock down. But if the wall's to your left, this could catch step to your right and it could juggle if it connects normal hit this is a stupid flip again and she has other to run too right one of the ugliest anime look at this on whiff what the fuck is that foot dive and then she cancels it in midair <laughs> anyway flip it to a low and flip it to a mid, right? That's how this works. Oh my goodness. Yeah, nope. Interesting that it puts them in that position like that. That's a spike too, isn't it? This is interesting. This is a hard knockdown. This one of those is where they have to block. They have to hold back. See? They have to hold back. I think doing that there is better than flipping them with forward forward two. If you connect this low. Because then she pro she could probably meet it with dash up stuff, right? Let's see. I was trying to match forward three and come out. Oh, she could get mashed on for sure. Yeah, never mind. She could get mashed on. Right, that shit. I know she could shenanigan instead of doing the, the follow up. I know she could shenanigan her way through a lot of setups here, probably. But I'd rather take the follow up into the hard spike and then another. Another core circle forward two is not an awful risk there. 
depending on the matchup, of course, Akuma with meter will make that hurt, but and probably Eliza with meter, but uh, with full meter. But for the most part, minus 12 force crouch is not an awful risk to take in a lot of matchups. Not Mardic anymore, but a lot of matchups. Oh man, I love it. Um, They have to hold back to avoid taking damage from the second one. They don't hold back, then another one is guaranteed. Oops. That's just how it is. And then you could tech after the third one. It'd be fucked up if it was a hard knockdown even when she hits you grounded, but it's not. You could tech after the third one. The first one's guaranteed, yes. This into that is guaranteed. That low is mega risky though, so it's kinda whatever, but the low the 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 low itself, minus eighteen, you know? Do it all with that too. Oh my god, pressing the wrong shit. Unless there's a way to actually pick up off of this for a combo, I'd suggest the course to go forward too. I'm trying to see how late you can step it. You might be able to react to the sidewalk. Yeah, we got the goofy ass drop kick. Minus 14, but you're downtown. I'm not sure if there's anybody that could punish this. What's going on, dude? You need to learn to punish? Uh, how you doing? Good morning? Oh, it's morning for you, huh? It's uh like 10.30, 10.40 for me. <laughs> yeah, anyone could punish with a super? I don't know. Are there any long range supers in the game that I'm not thinking of? Like Raging Demon, but he's not fast. This is only minus 14. So like... See, that doesn't even punish. Yeah, this is super linear. But yeah, this flip shit is pretty gimmicky. You go left on it and kill her. That goofy animation. Now, if her back is near the wall, that's a different story. Maybe like right here, right? Oh, it still pushes out quite a bit. Like here, maybe? There you go. That animation is so ugly, man. What is that? What am I even looking at there? 442. Yeah, we already went we already went over this move. This is basically her main Oki 2 to hit you on the ground. But it's very linear. So if she tries to go for like two back to back like this in case you don't get up, launch her. And it's minus uh 12 or 11. Minus 10. 12, what am I saying? Minus 10. This is kind of like Fakumran, where if he goes for two in a row, forward, forward, one plus two on Oki, and you tech and make the second one with, you could punish him 14 frames. The same for her here. If she goes for two in a row and you tech, you got 14 frames.
In the neutral, it's a little hard to step this because it's a forward forward move. Pretty linear if you are right. Yeah, you gotta walk it though. But yeah, even if you block punish this, you get 10 frames. And if you tech and it whips off of that situation, at least you get 14 frames. That's not universal, obviously. Oh, this move. While standing three up, I haven't gotten up to that. I go top to bottom on the move. This um, can armor move one hit mix ups. Wait, what? What do you armor move one hit mix ups? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about with armor move. Can Kuni attack with Corsica Ford 1 through Yoshi's windmill? Oh, that's a good question. I haven't, uh, when I get to Corsica Ford 1, we'll look at it more. This move right here, she had this in, uh, I don't know if she had the second hit, but she had the knee in tag two. And uh, this is an old Yoshi Mitsu move. Right? So, um, <clears throat> This is nine frames, but because it's forward forward out of recovery, you could do it 10 frame fastest. No, armor activates on frame six outside of some specific situations. Sorry, eight. Eight frames for armor. So you can't escape a lot of mix of situations with armor. You need at least eight frames to do that on average. Certain characters in certain situations, it activates faster. Like from back to your Master Raven's armor activates a little bit faster. Uh, any armor moves that come out of forward forward input activate on frame six, typically, which means frame seven, because it's forward forward. Uh, and Gigas down three plus four, the fucking grunt that he does. Uh, that's like frame five or something. And certain stance armor, I think they activate a little faster, but normal art like this, that, that's eight frames. You need an eight frame gap at least to armor. But anyway, this is a potential 10 frame punish. If you're on a hitbox, by all means, go for it. If not, try to make it an 11 frame punish. But if you miss this, you're dead. This is mid high minus 17. I'm pretty sure it jails, but. Yeah, it jails. But it's minus 17. All right. But because it's a nine frame knee, you can combo off of um, that plus 12. Good luck doing it though. And it could wall splat. I don't know if it slumps or full wall splats. There you go. Oh, it balcony broke. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, four 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 is very nasty, but you better be good with that execution, otherwise it's gonna get you killed. Simple as that. Four 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 by itself ain't shit. You got to do. You have to do the second hit. And the reason I did that is they wanted to make sure that you have to do the second hit to get anything good, but it also lets people react and punish it properly because it's a nine frame me. <laughs> like Yoshi misses off Fubuki me basically. A lot of potential damage out of that. Wanna become famous? I'm begging you, Taker. Make me famous. Bad as well. Kick rocks, bots. Nobody wants bots around here. So yeah. <laughs> I would suggest you, you at the very least make this a, a 12 frame punish. Honestly, she has a really good 12 frame punish for back turn mix ups. But, you know, that shit is no joke. And the fact that it does more damage than her 13 frame knockdown is crazy. So, the risk reward is here. 
Probably Cold Circle 42 or Forward 42. That's any time it's like, what's the follow up? It's almost always Forward Forward 2, but the recovery is awkward. See, the recovery is always awkward, but you can mash out Cold Circle Forward 2 because you can buffer it. You can just, see, you can always just mash that out and it's very reliable. It's just like one or two less damage. They always have to wait a moment and then do that. So if they don't hold back, you can just do a Cold Circle Forward 2 really fast. And you only sacrifice like one damage. Um but yeah, Raging Blizzard man, that's the that's the shit right there. I don't know about using this as a whiff punish. It's a little too crazy, a little too unsafe. Just throw from back here when you see them whiff. I wouldn't recommend you do that. <laughs> but by all means, if you you know if you think you're gonna catch something, go for it. Maybe not. I don't recommend you do it. She has a lot of good whiff punishes, you don't need that. Do this, and if you miss it, you only minus 13. You know? Don't get yourself killed just for a knockdown. Go for a launcher. Aha. Remember, she's minus the jails, but she's minus 17. Should I try? Let me try. <laughs> minus 10, right? <laughs> Trying to get it earlier, and that's when you get that. Oh, son! Not even 10 attempts. <laughs> Not even 10 attempts, motherfucker. If you're playing on Hitbox and you make that a consistent 10 frame, and the thing is, there's very few moves that are like minus 10 on the dot. There's very few. This is like, this shit is super rare. But you could get this on Hitbox at minus 11. You could get this on Hitbox at minus 11. You Hitbox fucking cheating people, dude. <laughs> and I did that on a pad, a new pad that's not even broken in. If my scrubby ass could do it, you can too. <laughs> or you're on keyboard, just the double tap, the pop pop, you know? A little, a little double tap on the piano effect, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is legit one of the most coolest things in the game. Like, she had, I don't know if she had this to follow up in tag too, but that kind of shit, it's like, it's pretty cheap, but it's not like super mega cheap. And it rewards you for like an insane amount of execution. And if you get it wrong, you're fucking dead. You get beheaded, minus 17. So it's like, go ahead, you brave, be brave, you know? <laughs> get your punish on. This is the, it, it, her 10 frame punish is that. Do you want that or do you want this shit, right? <laughs> Too good, man. With the wall splat potential. So yeah, that's that. I don't think it tracks. I, I, you know, it is a forward forward move. Whoops. But I want to just do this shit for a tracker. You're crazy if you do this for a tracker. This is strictly like block punish. Yeah. Oof, look at that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, don't do this as a tracker. Even if you see it tracking, don't. It's too risky. You're going to do it. You're going to risk. 17 frame knockdown on a read for sidestep right? <laughs> Come on. That's too much. It's too crazy. Alright, uh next next on the list. We got forward forward one plus two. Alright, this, this is a pretty fast high unblockable. This is gonna hit me a lot and I'm gonna get angry for sure. But um kinda reminds me of Armor King's Crash Dash 3. This does wall splat. I think they could fast roll it. Right? Yeah, for sure. But it could wall splat. <laughs> he clipped that. Uh, um, that damage is not worth it. That damage is kind of ass, actually. It's a lot of cool looking hits, but. Oh. Well, anyway, um, yeah, it's just a 30 frame high unblockable. Simple as that. Nothing else to say. Uh,. I don't know if this will like chase down any wake ups where they have to duck when they wake up if they react to it if you want to get stupid and gimmicky with it, but uh, let's see how it follows in the neutral. Yeah, no, that's that's mega linear. That is mega. She doesn't even try. That's mega linear. Good. 
I don't like when moves like this uh, track. Um, it's got some okay range though. Ah, uh, her version of the Yoshi thing. Doesn't have the full shark attack though, does she? It's plus one. Airborne so she could get floated. Counter hit still plus one. Oh, back turn plus one. What? What is this on block? Because this is shitty on... Minus 12. Minus 12. And then you, if you swing... There you go. If you... <laughs> so, what we have here is... She could force a back turn mix-up at minus 12 by making you afraid of a minus 17 launcher. And I think it combos on counter hit. Right? Yeah, counter hit only. It's basically crouched ass too. Same move. How much time do you have to press two? You know what? You might be able to counter hit confirm this. Not visually, like, based on animation reaction. But if you see that you caught a button, you can press 2 pretty late and it still combos. Yeah, you could definitely counter hit confirm this. Outside of that, you could use the threat of the launcher to, like, set up dumb stuff like that. If you want to get cute. Or, like, you gotta hold back for a while. Or that. That. I'm assuming this is very linear. Every, like, this is a common ninja move. That kick? That's a common ninja move in fighting games. Like, every, there's always somebody doing that. Andy and KOF does it, Virt and Fatal Fury, Kagemaru and Virtua Fighter does it, you know? So Andy got that sweet cancel to set up juggles with it. How many, it's, it has a lot of active frames. I don't think you're ever gonna make this plus, but you can make it safe pretty easily from like back here. So if you want to get like silly and gimmicky, you can do it from like back here and go go back turn and then mash out reversal. You whiff though. See, that was only minus seven. Damn, the timing is weird. See, there you go. You catch like any non knees or elbows, pretty much here, non lows. Yeah, high boost and DOA, of course. It's always just like the Izuna drop is common. Uh, Yoshi Mitsu has the Izuna drop, right? I don't think she has it. Oh, she got another option. There you go. Yep. I have a feeling even if she hits you, you could jab her out of this. Same as her back turn uh, three, right? Basically. Okay, nah. If she hits, you can armor, right? Okay, no, the gap looked good, but nah. Yeah, no. Can't armor it. You could definitely reversal it, but. Minus three. And she's still back turn. So yeah, much like this, you get down two, back turn down two, guaranteed if it hits. <laughs> That's just dumb. Whoops. How does this look? You hit me? Okay. I block it. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> if you want to do a hard call out. I don't, you can't quite juggle out of that. <laughs> neutral jump is your hard call out here. And then dash up. And she doesn't have a normal neutral jump kick, obviously. But anybody that does, you could probably do a hard call out here. You shouldn't be, this is super gimmicky, you shouldn't be seeing it, but you know what, it's good to know. That stuff is weird. Alright, here you go, cross dash too. We read over this earlier, but I do not recommend this move on Oki. 
because uh, what happens is if it connects, you go through that, right? You get that second hit. If it gets blocked, you're minus 17. The thing is, if you hit somebody that like doesn't tech or whatever with it, and you think like, even those situations where if they hold back, they get hit by it. If they don't hold back and they just stay grounded or whatever, right? It, um, she does the second hit and they could tech and punish you depending on the recovery. So, I don't recommend this as an Oki move. Uh, this is only good for certain pickups. Like, for example. Right? Wait, no, not that. What was the pickup before? Um, I picked up with something. I can't remember what. Fuck. I forgot the move I picked up with. Uh, not that. Down two? No, not down two. Oh, up four. I tried up four four. It didn't work. Counter hit back turn four. There. Okay. Yeah, I think that was it, right? It was like a knockdown that I picked up with it. There you go. That's one. Um, oh, yeah. Up forward four when the wall is to your left. I don't think you could get it otherwise. If you could, it's like it's like a lead pickup and it's very difficult. I don't know if it's... Trying to get it perfect. Yeah, no. Only when the wall is to your left, you can pick up with it. Off of that. Uh, there was a string with a knockdown that I used to pick it up. What was it? Oh, shit. Not that. Yeah, nah. A forward four. four. You, I wouldn't recommend this. This this is way too dangerous. See? It comboed there and it didn't pick her up. That's crazy. If you people like try to get up, it's gonna hit them consistently. Otherwise, uh -uh. it's not picky, it's not floating her. Maybe big characters. But on herself, it's not working. Um, there was a string that I ended with something, and it knocked down in a way that let me pick up with it. I just can't remember what it was. Uh, I, I, I did it earlier, though. So whatever it is... Imagine it picked up off of that. <laughs> Obviously it does, I just want to see what it looks like. Um, nope. Oh man, now not this is gonna bug me for a while. I can't remember what the it wasn't this, was it? It wasn't this. It was something that she recovered really slow. It looked like she recovered too slow to pick up. Was it that? Let me just look at, look this up real quick. I'll recognize the knockdown, I think. Oh. <sighs> this, right? Maybe that. I don't think so.
Down back two, four. I think you're right. I think that's the one. Yes. Yes. There it is. Thank you. That is the. That is it. Yes. So this string, which I already said, down back two, four is good. Shout outs to uh, Moist Muspets and shout outs to Have a Nice Day for giving me the heads up that down back two by itself as a poke. If you want to use a 60 frame poke, it recovers crouching and you're plus seven. This is a reminder. You know what I'm saying. It's a good thing that the second hit on counter hit. Yeah, see, if that worked, then you have a very nasty counter hit threat attached to like people that try to attack you after this. Say that would that would be good. But down back two four is already good. And then you could also down back two into like mix-ups. So yeah. And then down and if you land the last hit, which really only matters after these two hit, it's a very big window. But if those two hit, then that's a frame trap, basically. And it's uh, it's safe, right? Yeah, it's safe. So, <laughs> you know. There you go. Thank you. Anyway. Maybe there's more pickups for it, but that's the one I was trying to remember. Yeah, mega unsafe on block. Already went over that. And uh, I don't know, let's check the tracking. Because why not, right? I will say the range looks good. Wow, the tracking is really good. You would hope so, because it's minus 17. All right. Now we could talk about this dumb move. Right? Can you do cross shots too after up three plus four? You probably can, but I'm sure there's better stuff. How much damage is that pick up? 10, 11, nah, maybe not. I mean, she recovers standing, so. I don't know. It might be the best option. Uh, but yeah, it could pick a buff of that. So, this shit is silly. We talked a little bit about it already. I think this is a long range whiff punish because it's so fucking fast. It's very fast. If you miss it and they block it, though, you are minus 11. So be careful. You know? But, yeah. There's certain setups for this. I saw Arslan share one on Twitter. Because she doesn't teleport on whiff like Noctis, right? So mid stage here in the open. If you, if you end anything with that rage drive, Combos included. Ugh. I'm trying to like mash it out. It's very awkward to mash out. Yeah, her recovery is strange because of the dash. I'll just try to do it late. Let's see what happens. Got a crowd shab when I tried. Alright, this is a silly setup because the recovery is so awkward that I I can't quite get it. Yeah, I'm getting like a cross jab even when I try it late. Alright, whatever. What I'm trying to do here is Arslan said that. After her rage dive, if you if the opponent holds back and you throw that kunai, it's gonna hit him, guaranteed, because of the positioning. 
But the recovery of the rage drive is so weird that I just can't seem to get it to come out. There you go. See? And what was what was the frame data saying? I wonder if that's real. Plus what? Plus 18. I don't know if she's plus there, but... Yeah, if they stay down the side row or if you whiff it... I'm gonna try to see if I can wake up kick with punish. Oh my god, that positioning makes the slow one come out. Yeah, no, she's... Dude, that's a safe whip. Oh, there it is. That, that is a very strict timing. Very strict. If I don't want to get hit. I got a low at the tip wake up kick. Alright, 10 damage. So yeah, that risk is very low. Oh yeah, that's what you were asking, through a windmill. Very squeaky air conditioner right now. Welcome to the King What's the input for window? Let me know what the input for windmill is. One, two, three. How do you hold it? What's the unblockable one out of curiosity? The one that stays out. Back back one doesn't do anything. That's back back one. He just does slap you silly. The windmill that they use as a tech trap at the wall. I'm assuming that's the one you carry about because that's the one that stays out for really long. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna ask me to look this up and not even know the fucking input, man? Uh, anybody know windmill? Uh, up back one plus two one. I mean, yeah. Not that you should be seeing us in the neutral, but in case you were curious, there you go. Cool. You know, she has a pretty normal side step, right? Got core circle for one out of the way. FY minus eleven. I'll block if they block it. And the only way it's safe is if you are all the way across the screen. 
But if it whiffs, she doesn't teleport forward. And it is special mid, so you can block it standing or crouching. You don't have to worry about that. Probably a lot of knockdowns that she can catch people rolling back on. But I, I would only do it if she's far away, because if she's close, if you decide to tech and get up, you're probably going to get whiff punished hard. But experiment. Experiment off of all her knockdowns with that is my recommendation. If you want to play this character, any knockdowns that don't give you guaranteed follow-ups, just throw one of these out and see if it could be punished. You know, like a wallless combo, like wallless stage combo and shit like that. Just toss that shit out. See what happens if they get up and whatever, whatever they could do. <laughs> anyway, this is mainly an Oki tool. 13 frames, which means close to go forward too. You could probably buffer this, so this might be an actual 13 frame punish. So, no guaranteed follow-ups here, I doubt. I don't think so. It does wall splat. But what's minus 13 so I could test the buffer? That's 14, I think, right? That's 12. What's minus 13 for this clown? Uh, flash, if they block it. Uh, anybody know? Oh, hop kick, of course. Yeah, sorry. The moment I saw it, I remembered. I was like, duh. There you go. You could buffer this. So you got yourself a 13 frame punish, but you shouldn't really be doing... You know, but that proves that it's bufferable. That means this is technically a 15 frame punish. <laughs> it punishes Brian Speed plus four. Oh shit, good luck doing that. <laughs> I mean, nah, it's, it's bufferable, so it's pretty lenient. Could probably reach a lot of stuff, like, hey, forward, forward, too. Might be able to reach that. There you go. Of course. But honestly, she has that, so whatever. Oops. See, the range on that is actually quite good. Now, if it doesn't reach this, the throw might. What's up, access? Does that make her one of two who can punish people? For no, other people can punish it. Marduk can punish it. Uh, you know what? No, I'm making the assumption that the new Marduk punished my reach. I don't know if that's true. Um, Gigas could punish it. You know, it's just spacing dependent. Brian is usually like back here in the neutral using it, but it's very rare that you block. Even her, she can't reach it from far away. So you know. No punish. I should make it block. I bet you that would reach Kuma. <laughs> ah. Hey, no matter how far, <laughs> no matter how far. Give me that. <laughs> that's a satisfying move to be able to punish from that far out. That's that's a very satisfying move to be able to punish. <laughs> you know, it might go into itself. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, um, they might be able to get up and actually make it make it fucked up. Yep. Of course, looking forward to. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a projectile, right? So. Trying to like block it shallow again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I 
happening. Yeah, that ain't happening. Oh, there you go. Ah, the joy of buffering. So yeah, uh, minus 12 force crouch. I think it tracks pretty well. So that side for sure. Maybe not the other side. Or huh. There you go. I walk away from it. Looks like one's pretty good, yeah. Oh yeah, this is her backflip cancel, right? You know what's funny? This says up, back, back, and I never input it this way. I input back, up, back, and it comes out. Up, back, back doesn't come out for me. I think they put this backwards, because back, back doesn't work for me. I did, didn't I? Sorry about that. Go back up. This is a very high damage move that I don't know what the purpose is. Because I looked this up when I, when I first tried her out for a bit. And, oh, it's safe. Okay, that's why. <laughs> that's why you use it. It's safe. You just toss this shit out randomly and neutral and it looks cool. And it's a safe knockdown with good range. I gotta go back to double Cooney. Damn, the PS Direct never, never added the fucking PlayStations to their store. Let me look up Wario 64 real quick. I guess Sony changed their minds. They took down the availability message during the day yesterday. That sucks. No PS5s today, I guess. Oh, this sucks. I hate this. Anyway. Any count her properties? Nah. I looked at this, um, I went through her move list on my own when I was watching AEW this past Wednesday. Just a quick glance, and I remember this move. I was trying to find ways to move it. It just seems like a good, it's a pretty decent chase down move, too. But the thing is, if you try to chase down on Oki with it, if they stay down, you're you're in a bad way. So I wouldn't recommend it on Oki. I just see it as a chase down, kind of slow mid, with good range and a safe on block. But I want to touch to the neutrals to tracking because it looks like it should track well. Yeah, you see. It like, might as well be homing. And was it homing? Did I miss it? It might have been homing. No, it's not even homing, but it might as well be. And it's a wall splat on top of all that. So, definitely a good move. It's just a little on the slow side, so you're not going to punish anything with it. And if you whiff it, you know, and right in front of them, you're going to be fucked. Yeah, I wanted to see if it was a float. <laughs> anyway, all right. But I missed that earlier. Sorry about that. Thanks for reminding me. So this is like a dumb little flip kick she could do out of this backflip. Plus one. Second active frame. So it's zero to uh, plus seven. Or 33 to 37, 37 actually. So it's like zero to plus four, kind of. I think my math is right there. This kind of stuff is dumb. Like, what even is this? Yeah. 
Make her back row that. That's kind of whatever. Yeah, it's a slower demon paw, I guess. Yeah. What's up, Molly? How's it going? How you doing, dude? Yeah, I've said it before. This is why, how, why most people followed me in the first place. I haven't done this kind of thing in months. Because let's just say I haven't exactly been inspired to do it. <laughs> I, I've fallen out of some love with Tekken throughout the span of Tekken 7. Let's put it that way. Anyway, that shit is going to be linear as fuck. We all know this, right? Oh, I, I'm bad at this input. I, you guys already know, I didn't have to check this, but, you know. There you go. Wow, Shuko is pretty fast. But, not fast enough. Alright, her running moves are weird, because I already know there's zero on block. On frame one. But that is a fast one. With three active frames. Right, it's one of those. I don't know if it adds any juggles. I just know that it's high. And she's pretty close. Right. Now we gotta test this in the neutral. This is not like a jab block and then do while running situation. can't go too early the moment you see her moving forward though you can pretty much sidewalk and you're good the recovery is quite fast this is her shitty running three this is also zero on frame one okay. more block uh, more active frames here though and it is a mid look at that Dude, I think if you keep trying to get up when that hits you in the back, she gets guaranteed course to go forward two on you over and over and over again. I think, I think that's what, let me see. I can't really mash it out, I guess. I think that's indefinite if you keep holding back. Okay, no. No, no, okay. That would have been sick, though, right? <laughs> that would have been sick, but not quite. Alright, so yeah, this running three is kind of whack. It's very whack. Uh, no guarantee follow-ups. Man, what a dumb animation. Dirty damage, huh? It's there. Whatever. I'm not fond of it. This move is kind of cheap to me. This is kind of like Noctis' is while standing 1, 2. In that, uh... Except, I think his while standing 1, 2... No, that shit is safe, right? But for her, the second hit is safe and still has counter hit properties. For her. Right? And then if you block it... It's minus 8. 13 frames. And it's also natural combo. It's minus 12. Alright, so yeah. Hers, it's still a counter hit bait, a bait after the first hit. You could delay the second hit a bit to lose the NC. And she's still safe. That shit is cheap.
We're going to test tracking off of that. Really, you're going to see it in a neutral, right? But I still want to test natural tracking. Sidewalk left. You go right, the first hit might catch you, but the second hit whiffs. And the second hit whiffs. 15. 16. Uh, what's 17? By 18. 18. Oh my god. If you sidestep right and that second hit whips, you can launch her with any character. So yeah. That's still a really good move. They're really cheap. This is a good move as well. 14 frame while standing punish. It spins on hit. Mid high, so safe on block, but they could obviously duck it. And the second hit is a counter hit. Screw. You can put a little delay on it. Not natural if you'd put any delay, it seems like. I see. So the first hit of while standing one is minus seven, if you want to play that delay game. And the first hit of while standing two is minus nine. Sidewalk. Oof. And yeah, that covers both sides very well. So when you're doing your like your little mix-up, you know, full cross mix-ups, work that in there. Obviously, you can duck and launch it. But not just that, uh, it's a it's a screw. So have a nice day. Told me earlier, you could pick up this down back two while standing two four and so whatever, right? Damn that fucking keep a full wall splat. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Ah, not close enough, apparently. Ah. Damn, even if that hits... <laughs> That's really good. Her wall carry and her wall combo consistency seem very good. Anyway, you could also hold forward when this hits, and if you punish with this, you could force the uh, run mix up on him. So, you got that going for you. And that's plus 11. So, ain't no one stepping shit out of that mix up. No one is stepping anything. Yo, I can't even crush the love. I'm just gonna hold up. <laughs> it just hits me. Yeah, so. Still low parry, though. If anything, off of that is when I would consider getting cute with that flip shit, right? Like that? Because it's so plus that, like. You might be able to get more away with it. Angle's funny there. See that? They have to like mass jab. And if they mass crouch jab, watch them get eaten. Yeah, I knew it. I love it. People love to mass crouch jab. They have to immediately mash a single standing jab. To get anything. DF1 beats. You have two of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
The only time she gets mix-ups is in unusual situations. Knockdowns, back turn, full crouch. Her standing mix-ups are weak. Very weak. Time to guess. You're struggling with her while, uh, while standing inputs? You think so? Hmm. I guess. While standing 3, this is her 15 frame... 15 frame while standing launcher. I can't tell if it's a kick or a knee. I'm gonna assume that's a kick. This is what people like to usually obviously mix up with. But I gotta be real with you guys. Right? Think about this. Yes, it's 16 damage. And the range is a little bit deceptive. But if you're gonna fucking launch from crouching, go with the knees. Go with the knees. That's what I that's my vote. Don't go with this. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, maybe the range is a little deceptive. Either way, it's three more damage in exchange for not being a knee. That does look like it launches higher, though. It might be a tracking thing as well. Let me not rush to this. So, walk it, don't step it. It seems like walking in general is how you get around her full crouch mix-up, which means it's a really good one. Because it's going to be... Like in the in the neutral, most likely, you're gonna be like this, you know. Either that, or you're gonna get up off of knockdown, and then sidestepping won't be an option for you. Then you gotta hold that shit. Anyway, I don't see any Cooney players doing this shit. Why? Why does it have to be all or nothing with this? When you got this fucking dagger to the shin, that's uh only like minus twelve, minus eleven. And on counter hit, it's like, oh, my toe, my toe at plus 15, dude. And it's like, it's 22 frames, so I don't think it's seeable. I mean, the animation's a little goofy, so that's a tell. But, um, not like super seeable. Right, plus two, and I think she's still in crouch. Look at the tracking on this. Oh yeah, plus two ain't much. It ain't gonna let you like vortex this shit or anything like that, but you know. Can't even step her on while standing four. Now that's a problem. I definitely see this while standing one one a lot. So the fact that you can sidestep right and make that shit whiff like that. I think that's good. That's really good. To know that anti Cooney shit. And of course, we got the full crouch sweep. It recovers crouching. Forward forward two is where you want to go for damage here, obviously. I 
think it's gonna whiff, obviously. Do it. So I would force a full cross mix up here again if I were you. This is how you vortex. Right? Full crowd shit is awkward. Whatever. I just wanted a second sweep. Hey. Hey. I can low parry though. I don't know if I can make that tighter. Like, as you can see, it's still, it still is you gotta duck. Honestly, who cares? You, you want them to low parry. You don't want them to low block that. <laughs> it's less damage when they low parry. Uh, but yeah, she can definitely vortex this shit. She just has to take some risks, like mega risks. What's up, Simmer? Why is she so short? I know, that's what everybody's taking, because everything whiffs over her. Anyway, yeah, she could definitely run the Vortex. Knock down Vortex over and over again. For 30, 30, uh, 39 damage ain't nothing. 39 damage is quite a bit. That's more than, like, any knockdown load that's, like, a hell sweep. Right? They're, like, in the mid-30s, right? This is, this follow makes it 39. That's a little bit. That, you know, Marta gets, what, 34? And Kazuya gets, like, 36, right? Some shit like that? Off of hell sweep? What unique shit does she get at the wall with this? That's not guaranteed. Um, I don't think she gets anything particularly unique at the wall, does she? That one she gets 40 without walls. Yeah, but he has to do a juggle. I'm talking about just knock down vortex lows. Knock down vortex lows, you know what I'm saying? Although I suppose he could sort of still run the mix-up after a juggle. Unless you're talking about something else that I'm missing. Counter hit down back 2 change or some shit? I know his health sweep into the follow-up is 38, I believe. That's actually very high as well. That's a silly-ass change. And they gave him back up forward, forward, to forward, forward. It's a back four, whatever. Whatever the fuck, right? I'm mad they gave him that back. That's dumb. I have an idea. I have an idea. Ah! If that was guaranteed, this had potential to be nasty because you get a follow if they got up. You'd get a follow-up at the wall. If they stayed down, they'd probably take more damage, right? Oh, but you can do that as well. Because <laughs> of the angle of the knockdown. Anybody know any fancy shit you could do here? Yeah, 30, 39 is way above average. Yeah. Well, 39 is still way above average. Even when you consider double digit juggle. And like, uh, you know, shit like that. Yeah, I was thinking, like, Vortex lows, uh, have a nice day. Like, Kazuya Hell Sweep, you know, shit like that. Vortex, uh, VTS down 1 plus 2, you know? You get 39 damage plus a Vortex. High risk, but still. Vortex is a Vortex, right? I don't know if she gets any unique shit here. I'm trying to think, but it seems like you might just want to do your usual stuff. Like, 
the same Vortex, you know, still force this, you know what I'm saying? Damn, that's still 36 damage. How about this? Okay, no, it's not like a Wang Jingrei pickup. Conditioner squeaking like crazy. Trying to cross cancel, but the recovery is weird. Hey, that's guaranteed. That looks guaranteed. That looks guaranteed to me. So at the wall, you get a little more damage. That becomes a 45 damage low at the wall. A little awkward to do though. I can't do shit. I'm mashing. I'm mashing. Oh, you gotta take that. Imagine she's too far to do anything after that. Imagine she could like throw her kunai or some shit. <laughs> that would be fucked up. Right, that's all I got. Unless any of you guys got ideas. With, uh, to, to do a unique stuff at the wall with this. You guys got any unique unique ideas there? I'll, let me know. I'll try it out. Outside of that, let's test the tracking. I think this is going to track really well. Range is crazy too, and it knocks down from max range. It doesn't need a, it doesn't need a clean hit. All right, you can walk it at least. Can't walk the uh, the poke. Oh, it's very difficult. Can't walk the low the the poke though. So, damn, that range is crazy. <laughs> that range is wild, man. Can't she still get the follow from max range? She like teleports forward a bit when she does it. Ah, yeah. Uh, you, you got that. You get that. No matter what. All right. Spiral laceration. So yeah, here's another good way. Since you can't sidestep into this, you can sidestep into this and hold back. Confirm a whiff. You know what I'm saying? 17 frames is a little slow, but whatever. No counter properties. You can go to back steering with plus six. Which is pretty much exactly the same situation as 4-2. So look back on how I tested tracking on 4-2. Same situation here. Ooh. It's very linear though. You have to like time your step because it's a sidestep move. So yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Anyway, minus six, minus five. It's better when she turns around, that's funny. And of course with minus five, if you wanna get stupid gimmicky, you could use your counter. To set stuff up. Fortunately, oh, I was about to say, unfortunately, she doesn't have a follow up to, 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 to test you. I lied. He definitely has a follow up. I didn't remember. Hey, hey you go. Oh, it's just like this. Oh, that's a good string. Safe on. No, not safe. I was about to say, safe on block. <laughs> uh, that means she could. I mean, that's not gonna combo, but. And 50 stuff. And that's crazy. Potential, uh. 
dude, that's like 61 damage. That might as well be a fucking minus 10 on block juggle, dude. <laughs> juggle starter. Counter hit juggle starter, though. Yeah, it's cool. It's like, it's relatively low risk to set up your back turn stuff. Compared to a lot of the other risks you have to take, that's good damage. Because even if you just whiff, it's 30, 46 damage. Even if it just becomes they block the first hit and then they swing because they think you're going back turn. You don't even need a counter hit. They could just duck. They could just, you could just do this and then they, not that. You could just do this and then get them to duck. And then all of a sudden you finish it. And then they take a shitload of damage. That's very good. Very good move. First hit is pretty linear though. That's a potential setup that might be worth risking. You get the back and you land this, and then that, oop, not that. Obviously that's one way to look at it, but. Get your guaranteed hit, and then if they hold back, there you go. Anyway, side step two, one plus two, good move, but you could sidewalk and get her back if you go right. And then we got this silly ass move. This shark players are gonna see this, so I wouldn't abuse this too much. That's definitely guaranteed. Definitely go for 4 4 2 on this one. You have quite a bit of time to hit them because if they wake up, they're still gonna get hit. I wanna call this a house, bro. It's 24 frames. That's not no house, sweet. Telling you, because of that obvious animation and it being 24 frames, if you try to abuse this like a mix up tool, it, you, people are gonna start seeing it. So, you know. That looks like it's going to track very well. Well, you can sidewalk it through it. Oh, I sidewalked it once, right? That's crazy. Oh, you don't get her back, but... See? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's Marta killing you. That's you. You're taking 92 damage from my Marta if I block this. If I see that coming and I block it, I'm making your ass take 92 damage from my Marta. Fucking let me block that shit. <laughs> that fucking wannabe wipe the floor shit. would it be? Some wipe the floor shit, man. Are you kidding me? When I see shit like this, I'm murdering them for that. Murder, death, kill, motherfucker. <laughs> Let me 
been getting no baby no baby combo while standing three shit from me unless unless I like catch that move at the very last second. But if I'm if I'm having any sort of anticipation of that move coming out, like oh you sidestep. Oof. Oof. You got two taunts, I think, right? Silly shit. She throwing up the wolf pack? Yo, she's throwing up the wolf pack. <laughs> Too sweet, me, bro. Because when you're NW. I don't know why I did it in Triple H's voice. Need a sick ass 10 hit combo. Oh, it's the Yoshimitsu. Except she doesn't go into unblockables except for the last hit. Okay. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Oh, hi, hi, low. Oh, shit. Don't get fooled. All right, now we got grabs. Tamaki. Pretty far here. It's pretty far. No real Oki on that one. Now this looks close. on either of these throws. They're a little too far. Why is her left throw so stubby? Oh, I was trying to like roll against the wall. isn't really good enough to get anything too crazy here. I mean, yeah, they'd have to get up and block that, but, you know, I was hoping it was free. <sighs> you guys hear my air conditioner right now? That shit is screaming for help. This gives Oki. Maybe guaranteed moves. <laughs> I'm so bad at inputting this out of recovery for long animations like that. Even though I could buffer it. There we go. Try to side roll. 
Oh, that sucked. That was the thing everyone loves fucking doing. Hold back, you gotta hold that shit. Can't wake up kick either. If I side roll, oh, wrong way. Alright, it's just a wake up kick, it's not the worst risk. It's a cool throw, but I don't see any Oki happening except for one thing. <laughs> right in the ass. Okay, we hold back. <laughs> Alright. We stand straight up, let's see. Oh. That's legit. That's legit. They gotta stay down. You could try to like sneak in a forward three. I don't know how often you're gonna be getting right side throws, but <laughs> you know. But that's gonna be a safe whiff, basically, is what I'm saying. Oh, that's just our command grab over and over. Same situation here. Of course, I'm gonna mess up this a billion times. And my dog is scratching again. Gizmo, calm your ass down, buddy. Calm down, Gizmo. Like, why'd you turn off the AC? There it is. You're good at messing this out of recovery. Stay down. Good. Not close enough. It's a punish, but it's not close enough for you to get in trouble for it. Stand up. Yep. Gonna hold back. Yep. And you know what's great? That's not just a back throw for her. She has that in other situations. Okay, yeah, that's not real. Hold back. There it is. That's the position you want to see. So you're up forward one pursuit command grab. You get that shit. Same setup as her back throw, basically. Punish, same setup. This is good. The fact that you just get this off of like a regular one plus two command grab, you don't need like a back throw or whatever. But we know her counter is the same as the back turn counter. What's minus eight for her?
I think it's 11 though. Thank you. Frame three. It's a frame three. It's a three frame activation. I think my math is right, right? Oh, uh. Wait, what? <laughs> so yeah, I think my ass right. Frame three activation, which is the standard. All right, we already know about this one. Um, my dog is. Good. Gizmo, stop! Stop it! <laughs> Did somebody set off some fireworks and scare you or something, man. Jesus Christ. What puts her at like minus eight back turn? I think this does. I think even a back turn one is frame three. I don't have an 11 frame standing that I know of. Same situation. So yeah, I think her back turn one is also frame three, which is actually unusual. Usually from back turn, if you have a counter, it'd be faster. Oh, that's it. Uh. By the way, her Dastro also sets up the fucking thing. So her Dastro, up forward one plus two, and her back throw all set up kunai throw. Don't suck at inputting it off of recovery like I do. It's like a weird pause. There it is. <laughs> My dog, he's not giving up. Oh man, yo, it's been six hours going through Kunimitsu, everybody. That's everything. Right? I'm sure I missed some stuff, right? So let's go through her rage drive pickups, right? What do you guys know? Like, fill me in. What are her rage drive pickups? It's like the last thing I haven't looked at. And also, I want to see how plus it is when she slams you against the wall. I hate that it doesn't tell you the frames here. I'm assuming it's not like a um, Kazumi situation where she's minus. Mashed out like DF1 or something, but the camera might mess with my input. Okay, she's definitely. Oh, that's a crouch jab. Okay, I'm mashing crouch jab here, and I cannot low parry it. So she's mega plus here. This is legit. This is like plus 11, 12, whatever, right? 
So we know of one pick up here. That's a shitty one. <laughs> oh god, am I gonna have to give up and just let him in? I don't like giving him what he wants when he's like being going for attention. He's usually super chill, but for whatever reason. It's it's really that he thinks I'm here with somebody. Because I'm talking. Like really loud and shit. Hold on. As I was saying. Um What was it? Act four, right? This shit? Not normal hit though. Only counter hit. See what the damage looks like when you floor break and then do it. I don't know what a good floor break for. Oh, I do know. What am I? Saying? Seems scaled to me. But maybe somebody figured out a situation where it's not scaled or they patched it already. That shit was mad scaled. You saw that shitty damage she just did? Excuse me. Hmm. No way to resplat and get a wall combo out of that. Hmm. So what good is her rage drive? A scaling hits it really hard. It's gotta be something. Is there like moves that she can't usually combo out of, but when she has Rage Drive? Other than that one move. Gotta be something else to it. The 16 frame punish. The 38 damage, which is kind of whatever. The wall spam from pretty far away, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not getting it. I don't know what good this rage drive is. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can test this on myself.
One of the only characters that actually got a setup after a rage drive. Wow, good recording. Oh, me. Holding back. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold up now. Up and then back. Yep. Legit. And she's too far away with this one to risk eating the love. I think. They that's pretty fucked up, right? Think about how, like, every other rage drive that knocks people away, they get no Oki. Basically a reset to neutral. They could run up and, like, an idiot just throw a slash kick out, but it's easy to get around that and punish that. But in this instance, you have a reason to be like, oh, shit, I better not get it right away. And you could let her... That gives her a chance to run in on you or just go ham with, like, a, with, like, a quick little voop into that to sneak that in or some shit. That's interesting. So yeah, I got nothing else. I still, you know, the only thing I'm unsure of here, I feel weird about right now, is her rage drive. I don't know, like, what's so special about it. I agree, but, you know, they wanted to give her a kunai throw, right? Uh, if I'm missing something about the rage drive, let me know. It sucks, right? All right, I feel, you know, I feel, I don't know, what do you, how do you guys feel? You guys feel like I missed anything? Now's the time to let me know. I feel like I, I call, you know, a good amount there. I don't know if you guys learned anything through my process here. Yeah, that rage drive is kind of whatever. Definitely rage art with her. I feel like I know about how to step this before. Yep. Always remember, this is a process not only for the people that want to learn how to play the character, but neutral tools and shit. The process to know how to beat the character as well. The process that I go through. Now, we all know that I'm going to forget this shit the next time I fight this character. But, you know. Now we have it on recording. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, edit, chop this up and throw it up on YouTube. Either that or I'll be lazy and throw it up on YouTube with all the interruptions and shit. <laughs> Just throw it up in one bulk. This was a six and a half hour stream. I gotta be honest, I expected to finish this a lot faster than six and a half hours. I did not expect this to take this long. But you know, even with the interruptions, that's like, I'm kind of shocked that I pulled it off at six and a half hours. Damn. Yeah. I guess this is a good place to call it, everybody. <laughs> it was a journey. We've all grown, you know? <laughs> Uh, I, I guess uh, I should do the quick little rundown of just how I feel right now about this character. Once again, when she's standing neutral, she has a shitload of really good strings, a shitload of very good baits in her strings. But the problem is they are baiting you to like swing at her or duck at her when you shouldn't. You have almost no reason to duck on this character in this neutral situation. You should be able to react to that. You can't react to this, then all of a sudden she has like crazy mix-ups. So, in the neutral, we got down back four, we got this shitty down three that hits grounded at least. You know what I'm saying? And then we got down back three, three, the Yoshimitsu, with all of the stuff that comes with it, right? So, as far as just when she's standing, her plus frames aren't scaring. Where she's crouching or when she's back turned, that's when her plus frames become scary, right? And then, you know, she has like a bootleg run mix up that could be a little annoying. Personally, I think she's most fearsome back turn because of the grabs and the low is really good. So I think this is the scariest situation. This shit right here, you uh, 12 frame punish. This is where a lot of the mix ups really come in. 
And then outside of that, you could go, if you want to go YOLO, force the crazy mix-ups, full crouch. And obviously, you could, t you, you could always full crouch from the neutral if you got a good feel for keeping them still. So if you're playing this character, you got to, like, really use your neutral well to keep them still to try to sneak in there and get one. Get one on them, you know? She's not a slide character, so don't do too much of this dumb shit. And then, like, watch for them to look at you and shit like that. She doesn't have good tools for that, in my opinion. Just force the mix-up. Do it a little bit, and then force the mix-up. Don't hold it, and then wait, and then look at them for a bit. I don't think that's that works for her too much, personally. Especially since she has so much range on this. She has, like, a long-range mid, you know, and a long-range low. So it's like, you, you don't need them to see it much beyond React. You don't need them to let them do this shit. There's no counter hit bait here. You know, if there was a counter hit bait here, then I'd be all about doing more of this and then letting the bait go. But there isn't. So, just let them see it, do the mix up. Or sometimes do it fast and don't try not to let them see it. Also, remember, you can always run up and go into crouching and immediately do it. All that goofy shit you could do. You know? And try to learn a fucking neutral with this character. Don't just make you neutral this from downtown randomly. Like, fuck's sake, people. Come on. Everybody, like, looks for character gimmicks before they try to, like, learn how their neutral feels. I swear to God, this is why everybody's neutral is ass. If you learn a damn good neutral, you should be able to pick up any character in this game and play a neutral. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, watch out for this damn string. It is minus 14, though, which is not great. So, yeah. That's kind of how I'm feeling about this character. Oh yeah, and her back dash is busted. When they fix that, I think she'll just kind of be, eh. You know? She'll kind of be where she was in Tag 2, probably. And we're not probably, we're probably not going to be seeing much of her in a month or two. <laughs> Even if she remains, like, with a busted back dash, we are going to stop playing her in a month. We all know this, come on. Alright, so, that's, that's where we're going to leave it at, man. I appreciate everybody... Tuning in. You don't think they're gonna touch her back? That's gonna annoy the shit out of me, honestly. But we'll see. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody.